That was not recording, was it? Dang it, Jacob! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean, what? You're a nice, happy drunk, or you mean asshole drunk? It depends how everybody else acts. So, you're gonna be mean because Brian's here? No, I'll be happy if I love Brian. Why? Because that's my friend. Why? Because he is. Now I'm a pissed off drunk! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, There's nothing in here. I brought the soda out here. So Where pour on some, Jess. What soda? Jeremy, if you don't start. You ain't bring no soda out of yeah. Yes, I did. Br- Where? Oh, Give it to him. <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> I was going to kiss you, but yeah. I changed my mind. Let's go. Hey, bring us some ice. You hear the way they talk to me, Mom? Give me, hey, give me your cups. Jess, come here. Give me the soda. Yeah, when I'm done with it. Oh, hurry up and pour some. I'm waiting for some ice. Hey. My mom is going to come in here and stink all of you. Get it. Get your, give, give, her, damn, give her your cups. Get some ice. Please. I don't want on my eye. Thank you. Go. Put your, right eye. Put your finger in my cup. That's bad for a waiter. Hey, make sure the ice clean. Don't be doing that. Nobody want no Jesse Cooties. Brian does. Well, he, ha- he ain't got no choice. Damn. Are you recording? Fuck, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, uh, to be continued, we have some technical oh, difficulties well, here. Jeremy, welcome to the Future Villains podcast. Thank you for having me. <laughs> our normal, our regular co host for the Yields. Um, Riley? Right, I'm not going to help. I need an extra. Huh? What? Why are you not going to talk to me after him? I, I was still talking to him. I haven't got to you yet. Riley, welcome to the Future Villains Podcast. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Jeez, Jess! <laughs> too hot! The hot tub is too hot. That looks crazy on the thing. I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it. What are you going to say? I, I can't remember. We're being recorded, so he's not going to say it. Yeah, I'm not okay. going to say it. You're recording now? Yeah. yeah. You recorded this whole thing? Yeah. Yes. Are you going to put this on the podcast? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> hey, Jess, welcome to the Future Villains Podcast. What up? They just heard me yell at you, telling them to go get them stuff. They also heard you rattling ice in those cups. Like Shaka, I hope they enjoy. <laughs> like Shaka Khan. It's like, it's like a sensation for their ears. You're welcome, listeners. That ain't no With damn ASMR. sensation. I should release just that bit as ASMR. As what? Well. <laughs> no one knows what that is but me. Okay. <laughs> That's a good point. Oh, I, shook I don't fully understand. I shook that. Here comes some more ASMR. Okay. <clears throat> Can we record our show now? We Do are what? right now. Oh. Well, she we're wants to record about... our show. We're recording right now. We're recording. If you in it, sit down. I'm not in this show. Well, get I'm out. trying to go Jeremy. hang out with mom. Get your phone. Go. Then go. Just go. <laughs> my bad. Riley, get out. Yeah. They hurt me on my kid. Can you edit that out? No. No, because you're going to jail. Parent. You're going to jail. You're going to go to jail and die. <laughs> Mommy, I want to record By the way, that parenting tactic was called one, two, three magic. You tell your kid one, two, three. You yell at them one, two, three. Oh. By the time you get to three, you don't know what's going to happen on three. <coughs> like, I don't know. I just, um, it's not going to be good. And ladies and gentlemen, nobody cares what she says because it's not true. Who? Oh. I just flipped Jeremy's hat off. Come on. Just you know, hold there's on. video. You don't have to explain. Audio listener did. friendly. Yeah. Where? You know Audio what? listener friendly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peace. Well, that just blew out the mic. <laughs> that guy. You don't need. You don't need a for that. No, yes. no I don't. What? Brian, can I say it? Say what? Get the fuck out. Oh, that's all I was expecting. Man, oh, what you want me to say? <laughs> Can you, you just let him say that to me? I thought you were going to give her a damn. But okay. Oh, hold on. Get ready for it. Oh my god, here it comes. It's a drunken damn. Drunken damn. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> now get the fuck out. <laughs> the microphone's blown out twice in 30 seconds. You just want to talk to me like that? It's a damn, baby. Yeah, what's wrong with saying damn? You cuss me all the time, Jess. Shut the fuck up. See, you cuss me all the time, Jess. I'm still done with you. You don't kiss my ass. Come on. I can't believe I can get a Charlotte horse. What? <laughs> God damn it. Shut the door. <laughs> Tell him to stop Shut having the, the last door. Word. Shut the front door. What liquor? <laughs> stop. It's 
fucking what's going on? Welcome to the Future Villains Podcast. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. I'm Brian, Brian Man Peacock. You gotta sit up, bud. What's uh, <laughs> the problem with you on that couch? Well, well see I, I got used to my hammock and now all I wanna do is just relax. He just he cool, he relaxed. And Jeremy the Coach Brooks. Jeremy the Coach Brooks here, people. <laughs> hammock is like a lifestyle. Brian, Brian, I like he in Key Largo or freaking Venice or something right now on the beach. Yep, for the rest of my life. Coconuts falling on his nuts. I mean, you're going to be doing most of the storytelling on this podcast. <laughs> so listen up. So Turn sit the fuck up. up. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to fall asleep talk? in the middle of a story. <laughs> true. That's true. I have narcolepsy. I don't. Jeremy has a dark lips. I got what? Oh, I got a who? So we're on one of those podcasts. What the hell is it's it's MLK week? Okay, we fuck with me. It's a week they, now. They do a week. Oh, good lord! Well, tell the story you told us a little bit ago. No, nah, I won't do it on the podcast. No. Nah. No one knows where you work. There's a lot of stories we shouldn't tell on the podcast. That's what I'm talking about. They don't even know I'm black. I'm not. But Right, you're not. No, nah, we ain't got black people. Oh shit. I'm sorry, what? Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't do anything this weekend. I really did. I played Stardew Valley on my Switch. That sounds exhilarating. I, I did that and I listened to the Kevin Smith podcast. Like nice. five of them. I nice. worked. So once. Brian, what did you do this weekend? Oh, I didn't really do anything. Brian, what'd you do? <laughs> Four days out in the fucking woods. Yeah, you talking about I didn't do bullshit. You were beating drunk some bitches all weekend. True. True. I'm beating bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, he was beating somebody. <laughs> beating drums with bitches. Just so beating. everybody knows out there in, in villain land, Brian is the king of LARPing right now. He is famous. Bitches right. want to beat shit all day long. Beating bitches with drums, beating drums with bitches. <laughs> That's a Mute t-shirt. Your fucking phone, bro. Hey, hashtag. Sorry, what? Hashtag that, that please. Phone. How are you gonna meet your phone with those giant hockey gloves on? Is They're not hockey phone? gloves. What are they? Brooks, what are they? Uh, black people gloves. The Transformers gloves. MMA gloves. Are they oh, MMA gloves? That was pretty good. Do that. Do that again, closer to the mic. That was probably the worst one I've ever done. <laughs> there we go. In case you didn't know, Brian is the person that makes the sound effect for the Transformers movies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and no one else can seem to do it. And I'm just like, you gotta have gap-ass teeth. Like, <laughs> I, don't even wa- do I don't even watch fucking Transformers. Well, you should. Sure that's what they sound like. Well, thank you. Actually, that's the sound from the cartoon. Lance can do a really good version of the movie. What, do you just bang metal and shit together? I don't know how he does it. Lance is a Transformer. Yeah. You know his truck is a transformer? And so is my car, but <clears throat> I actually he has ooh had I don't think it survived <clears throat> this house fire. But ooh, he yeah. had a truck, like a transformer toy. Yeah. And it was his truck. <clears throat> Cause That's I made cool. it for him. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, for his birthday one year I, I got an iron hide truck, which is just like a pickup truck transformer, and I turned it into a Dodge Ram and I painted it just like his. Even included like the duct tape on the on the headlight. <laughs> now the time he had some neon, <laughs> had some neon green duct tape on the headlight on. I yeah. put that on. There. Damn. <clears throat> if it did survive, I need to go back and paint rest of his ranch on ranch across the back window like he's got now. I but miss that. If place. not, I mean, you could probably find that truck again. Oh yeah, just the iron hide. I miss that place. That was fun. We had a good little memories there. Yeah, a lot of good memories. A lot of good. Or wrestling matches, too. Yeah. We did some, uh... What was our promotion name? WWW? No, EPW. Elite Pro. Didn't we oh, do a right. WWW? Yeah. That was the school. That was the school, With, okay. Yeah. Moron Mo. That, that, by the way, that's what we just called him from now on. Moron Mo. That was his wrestling name. I w- I'd call him something else, but I'm not going to say it on this podcast. <laughs> I'm trying to be calm, cool, and collected tonight. But that... What, EPW? Yeah, Elite well, Pro Wrestling. Let me tell you something about EPW. One show we had, we had at least 30 people or more out there to watch us. We didn't promote nothing. We just told our friends. Yeah. 
and people paid to watch this bad shit over our heads. You yeah. tell people about our podcast. <laughs> it doesn't work like that anymore. <laughs> You know, that, that was fun. You know, a lot of wrestlers, they don't encourage people to do backyard wrestling. You're not exactly trained. Exactly frowned upon. You're right, you're right. You know, you're not trained. But, Suck it happen. I mean, well, that was the difference. You guys were trained. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah we, did. we trained ourselves. No, well, I didn't. I actually had, I mean, we had guys from the conservatory. And oh, that's, yeah, that's true. We had guys from... Uh, the WCW training area. This is the wrong podcast. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back. Oh shit! It, yeah. we'll, we'll get... <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, if you want to hear more about that, um, we've done at least a couple episodes where we talked about that stuff. Yeah. Go ahead, Brian. Oh, so what did I do this weekend? Yeah, what you do this weekend? You beat up some nerds. Bang some drums. Nope, I got a lot of nerds to beat up each other. Eat some ramen noodles. There you go. Uh, Chicken yeah. flavor. I don't want ramen noodles and I'm on a low carb diet. Actually, I'm gonna eat like five packs when I get home tonight. Five <laughs> packs. Five of... packs, huh? So. Five time! I am. Five time! <laughs> <laughs> That's only twice. I don't know. I, I want you to speak. I'm sorry. Alright. So I. Five am... time! <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> five time, five time. All right, we're good. All right, good. All right, good. Go ahead. Go ahead, I'll wait for you to do it. <clears throat> I need to put this down or I'm going to start making noise. Um, so I am part of a unit for a game called Dagger here, which I have talked about on this, I think. The last podcast we did was a LARP podcast with Thaliandor. Right. Well, there's a video component to that podcast so definitely check that one out that's pretty cool two videos there's the podcast and then there's the actual event right well my unit is primarily dagger here there's about eight of us we get together and fight each other and other people with foam sticks and uh it's so simplified well yeah and then I'll then I'll elaborate. And then you wear a costume and you create a character. Uh, there are other games like it, uh, but this one is ours. <laughs> um, no, we're we're also thinking about expanding our <coughs> horizons. But anyway, there's a big event in the Ocala National Forest this last weekend called Frostbane 2018. Uh, it was ran by, I'm sorry, I don't know the unit, uh, but Gorg the Blacksmith's unit. If you know anything about any LARPing anything, you know who that is. Um, and a lot of people don't like it to be called LARP because they, they take it more serious and they treat it like a sport. And it, on some aspects, it kind of kind of is. But it started as a game, so it's just going to stay a game. So, as we say in Blood Pack, get fucked. Um, get fucked. Uh, so, my unit is Blood Pack. We're a unit of non <laughs> mostly non-human characters. We're still trying to figure that out. But, uh, I play a half-troll named Balmusa. Uh, I, I paint my face, and I have tusks, and... My costume is based off of uh, the ancient Polynesians instead of like Vikings and stuff like everyone else does. Because we live in Florida and Florida is fucking hot and I don't want to wear leather and furs as cool as it looks. It is true. So I swapped my leather and furs for leaves and juke cord. No undies at all. Free baller. It was cold as hell. So I wore some pants under my, <laughs> under my sarong, which is essentially like a wrap. Like you're no, wearing like some. Towel. You said Samoan, right? Uh, yeah, mine's based off of like Samoan and Maori and uh, Tongan. Is it Tongan or Tonga? Tonga. Yeah. Um, I'm still. I'm trying to learn as much as I can about all the Polynesian cultures. To kind of incorporate that into my character. Well, it's, it's a lot out there, I tell you. It's very interesting. Yeah, I've watched a lot, a lot of documentaries. Great history. Um, pretty cool stuff. It really is. 
Yeah. You know, people underestimate the, you know, Polynesians and, the, you know, Samoans and all that stuff. They're really intelligent people, you know. And I think because we live on the opposite side of the country, you know, we're in Florida, so we're <clears> nowhere near the Pacific, let yeah. alone the Pacific Islands. Right. So I don't know if they, you know, that side of the country learns more about them, but we don't learn a damn thing about them over here. To and be honest, like, we really don't have a reason to over here, which is sad. Yeah. No, I think I think everybody should learn about a different culture. Yeah, I mean, I because I love documentaries, so I'll watch documentaries right. on anything really. And for y'all like to pick up, want to do that theme, I, I love that. You know, it's a Polynesian is a warrior. You know, they do stuff that you know gets them ready for a battle. And what Brian Group is is basically they go out there and fight with foam, larping. Yeah. And stuff and they'll do the Polynesian. A lot of LARP people don't do Polynesian stuff, right? No, everyone just does <coughs> Vikings. Or yeah, it's Vikings. all it's all about that Viking shit. Yeah, so yeah, you to do that Polynesian stuff. That's different. I found out someone. Um, I'm in a ton. Of, if you listen to the show, you know I'm addicted to Facebook groups. So someone I posted my character and costume and everything, and someone was like, "Oh, you should talk to uh, I forget her name." But you should go talk to her. She did a... She is actually part Samoan. And she has a... Uh, an Islander character that she put together. Mm -hmm. And I haven't wrote her yet. Um, I've just been busy. But her costume and everything is fucking legit. And there's another... Um, and someone showed me... This one group trying to do, they did like a war dance. It wasn't, it wasn't a haka. Like, it looked like it was, it was going to be at first. Did you show me that? I think so. It more looked like something around like a, you like dance around a fire. Yeah. Something like that. What would you call that? It was like a tribal dance. Yeah, something like that. Like, you get together, like the whole tribe get together and do some like stuff. So, <clears throat> like, that was cool and all, but... Like, I want us to do, like, a simple haka that I want I want Brooks to lead us in. No, I, I, I'll teach y'all the haka. The haka is, the haka gets intense. If you actually do it and feel it, you, you'll you feel the, the spirit of the Samoa and the warrior coming out of your blood and going through your veins and you just get goosebumps. You know what you that just... feeling is? You know what they call that? What? Adrenaline? That's your mana. I can haka loogie. What? Get fucked. <laughs> I'm not out of blood pack mode. And the blood pack... In, you know, in Game of Thrones, uh, Lannister always pays their debt. Winter is coming. Well, blood pack's words are get fucked. Get fucked. So, let's Hashtag almost, get fucked. Hashtag get fucked. <laughs> but actually, you know, I'm putting that in our group chat right now. Get fucked? Yeah. No, hash, no hashtag. Just hashtag get fucked. I will put it on my Twitter, but it's a lot of kids and coaches on mine. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, this is just it. blood pack, so that that's all that's gonna see this. Sweet. Um now listen to Brian talk about his weekend, you know. It sounded like it was a, uh, a badass weekend, you know. Brian made history. Uh, it seems like it. You know, Brian I don't know if Brian, I made history. No, no, you a legend. <laughs> you can't tell me you're not a legend. Well, for my first event I think I made quite an impact. Impact? Yeah, so, I, I think I'm gonna be remembered. Impact wrestling that is. Uh, no, because it was good. <laughs> um, so we, we headed out Thursday night. Uh, set up, we got to the uh, campsite, which was eh, about two hours away. Uh, out in the land. D-land, if D you will. D-land. Um, it took us about an hour extra, because I didn't drive. Because any chance I can take not to drive anymore, I do. So I was riding with our unit leader. And Rhaegar, I'll, I'll just use game names from hit, from here on out. So Rhaegar, and uh, he he had a problem with his alternator regulator or voltage regulator or something. Oh god! So we're driving up, and it's at night, and um, we leave here about six thirty. And every literally every ten to fifteen minutes, we're pulling over. He's got to pop the hood. And he's got to beat on this thing until the lights kick back on. And the, it, the alternator starts to charge back up. So you should have drive. 
Oh, yeah, we should, but I couldn't have fit everything in my car. Oh, yeah. Once I, because, uh, maybe we'll post pictures of the, from the event. We will. The campsite. I gotta get them. They're gonna be on futurevillains.com. F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. Woo! <clears throat> what he said. And Instagram. Bam. That's what he said. Are they going on your Instagram, or do you want me to put them on ours? We do both. <laughs> Whose phone's not muted? Mine. Get fucked. Um, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Blood Pack. Hashtag. <clears throat> Oh, you know what? Pat, <clears throat> that was someone replying to hashtag get fucked. What did they say? It was just, uh, you know how like you got the uh, the smiley face thing or the oh, yeah. heart thing you can change? Emojis. In Blood Pack, we had like that one that's set for your, your whoever you're talking to. Uh-huh. Um, or like it's a thumbs up for everyone else, but you can change that. In Blood Pack, we have a skull, and the Sandstorm just threw up a skull for that. So You a fucking legend. So, well, sort of. I'll, I'll get to there. Um, <laughs> so we show up. Sorry, Massa. Uh, and it's... Uh, <laughs> I get my first event tag. This is my first full-on event. I've done a lot of local events, like, with, like, ten people. But this event probably had... If I had to guess, uh, somewhere between 100 and 150 people. Um, so we get there. We sign in. Uh, we are an event tag. Get a cool little... Uh, <laughs> Say we had a cool little get fucked. Of... <laughs> oh. yeah. Yeah. Rhaegar doesn't understand hashtags because he's old. <laughs> Rhaegar's an old man. God damn. Oh, Moose is an old man too, though, so it's alright. <clears throat> we'll continue on. And yeah, I talked about myself in third person using my character name. So, and we're unloading uh, the truck because our camp is. <laughs> Exceptional. Uh, everyone else brings, you know, their Coleman tent or their Ozarks Trail tent or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, we bring, I mean, we have an Ozarks Trail canopy for now, but we bring, we bring camp. Like, <laughs> ours looks legit. So we emphasize that, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> well, when you see it, you'll get it. I, 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 I'm jealous already because you're telling a story. I wish I was there. Should have been. I, next one, next one. I would definitely. So we, uh, uh, apparently, and this was also the same campground where the unit was formed, and I wasn't there for that, so they were pretty excited that I got to be there for that. That's good. Um, and we got the same camping site that the unit was formed at, uh, and I threw up my hand, my, uh, my canopy, my, like, yeah, we put up a canopy, but I put my hammock up, um, I slept in a hammock for most of it. And we had a canopy that was like our main camp mm-hmm. where everyone kind of hung out. What's the name of this event? It was Frostbane. Frostbane, okay. Yep. Frostbane 2018. Uh, put, I think I was, yeah, I, I said it in the wrong bar. Um, and yeah, so our camp is pretty cool. I'm not even going to lie. Um, <laughs> uh, so we have our canopy, and inside, uh, the two sides have uh, tables and stuff. And we hide everything that's not in game, like all of our coolers and all of our totes that we carry our costumes in. Uh-huh. Like we hide everything, like as much as we can. Everything's hidden under drop cloths and stuff to make make, make it, it look realistic. Like, yeah. Yeah. And we have tiki torches and sandstorm and. You know what y'all should have? What's that? A pig roaster. That would be great, but unfortunately, our campsite didn't have a fire ring. Yeah. So every time we cook something, it had to be on someone else's fire. Oh shit! Yeah. Can you just big one? No, you couldn't. They had specific rings, and you couldn't move <clears throat> them. Oh, okay. So. I mean, you could. Could you dig one and just cover it up? That's what we used to do. I don't think you were supposed to. Oh. oh. Um, but it was really cool because we were right on the St. John's River. Like, we could have cast a line from our camp. That would have been fishing. nice. Um, so it was a really cool site. Uh, we had Dirty Dan help us. Uh, thanks again to Dirty Dan. He was a pirate. Uh, Shout out Dirty Dan. Yep. Yeah. Uh, And I I got to meet Gorg the blacksmith. He came over and talked to us while we were unloading and stuff. Uh, 
you know, we're telling him what our unit's all about, and, you know, he's obviously very established. He's one of the very few actual knights in, uh, in Florida, because, uh, a lot of people don't know, because it's not really written anywhere, but an, in Dagger here, knight is, like, the only thing that's, like, reserved <clears throat> for certain people. uh uh-huh. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, I want to be a knight, you know, I'm going to be sir whatever, and I'm going to be a knight, I'm going to dress like a knight, do knight things, and until you find out that, you know, you can't. I mean, you can, but you're going to get shit on, because it's not You can, one day. (laughs) Right. And I don't know how to exactly become a knight, but I know it's hard. It takes years, literal years. You got to go through the... The process and all that. Yeah. And there's one specific, uh, it's a chainmail necklace that knights wear. And, like, you do not wear one of those if you're not a knight, apparently. <laughs> uh, which is cool. I think, <clears throat> I think Dagger here needs more of that kind of stuff. That's, anyway. like, in the whole America, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, but it's, like, un- unwritten. Like, that's not written in the rules anywhere, and I right. think it should be. But it's kind of an unwritten thing. But yeah, it's only him and like a couple other people in Florida. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, so it's it's a big deal. Right. Um, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> you are a big deal. Well, he yeah. is a big deal because his... He got Gord? Yeah. yeah. He's a legit big deal. Yeah, because he, he... His... He makes a living making weapons. He even sells t-shirts. You, uh, but that's also kind of the cool thing about the dad community just from an outsider since I haven't really been part of it, is it seems like there's a lot of people, like, uh, Sandstorm and, um... Korsgar? Uh, huh? Korsgar? Yeah. Right? That's that's not... I'm trying not to use real names here. Oh, right, go ahead. Right. Who's Lance? Lance is Rhaegar. I knew that. I should have known that. Yes, Korsgar and Sandstorm, for me, watching the YouTube videos when we were getting into this, were like, those are the guys, those are the legends. Like, you see them in, like, all the videos. Yeah. Now they're just part of your fucking group. (laughs) Yeah. Same thing with Gorg, though. Like, we, like, Gorg is someone you find all over the LARP stuff, and you guys are just fighting him. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. You know, I want to get into it, but here's the one thing about it. If you like me. If you get touched in the face and you go ape shit, this, huh? No. What you say? I'm I'm messing with ASMR. Oh. I'm messing with corn and soda. Sorry for all. (laughs) Like if you get if you like get hit in the face and you like snap, this is not for you. Because you're gonna have times where somebody gonna accidentally hit you in the face, and they go they gonna apologize. You know. Your freaking daughter. Oh, you scared, scared the crap out of me. Spider? Don't fucking throw spiders <laughs> oh, in here. God, that little spider scared me. Damn it, man. Uh, I hate black spiders. Uh, but, like, when you get hit in the face, though, like, it's all, it's almost always on accident. Yeah. I understand, like, but... Like, there's like, really no one that goes out of their way to be a dick. I don't know, but like I told you before, like, I got, like, a crap ton of concussions and stuff, yeah. and, You know, the weapons they use ain't... They foam, but there's also a little bit of weight to them because they use yeah. different materials and stuff. Yeah, they so if you got somebody that's going to act like a douchebag and wind up like Babe Ruth, Sammy Sosa, yeah. Mark McGuire and like tee off for you and hit you in the head. Or you got to worry about the idiots who don't make their weapons properly. Right. You well, know, you, that's but Dag does check them. Yes. The, Dag has weapons checked. I yeah. remember one time we went somewhere. Uh, somewhere in Homo Yeah. And some idiot brought a fucking, it like something the damn deaf guy will fucking brand to kill you or some shit. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, we, you know, that's fucking ridiculous, dude. Yeah, there's some guys... In other games, and in this one, they, they try to make elaborate weapons, and they just don't work. Yeah, it's they, like... They fail. Well, Sandstorm has the log. Yeah. Does he really use that? No, that's, that's more of a... Intimidation. RP. Yeah. And, but he can use it. It's legal. It will pass. Oh, no, yeah, absolutely. But it's not... If he uses it, he's probably going to use it like, oh, I'm going to go get fucked. <laughs> like, I'm going to lose. I'm going to... Take a couple guys out, maybe. Well, yeah, like he's going to charge lose. somebody with it, something like that, and take out a couple people. Yeah, and, maybe. You know, Probably. Like, that's, I, you know, something like that. I'm not going to get mad about that. Right. But, yeah, if, like, but if there, you... Like, if you took... Because there's, there's a couple... What a lot of people do, uh, the guys who are really fast, 
they do spin shots where they're literally they literally spin around yeah and they crack you with their fucking weapons and it's usually the guys with the longer heavier ones and I've seen they <laughs> like like Link in Legend of Zelda I don't know like, I don't play games but yeah basically God. spin to win is what they say oh that's that's a League of Legends thing and they fucking <laughs> spin to win and get your fucking ass God whooped damn I just, ugh, I want to do it so bad, but it's just, I want to get hit in the head because I'll snap. I get pissed off. Why don't we get you a helmet? Like, we're getting into leather working. We can make you a helmet. That's not going to protect my nose and stuff. Yeah, well. No, hey. No. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it out. I hear you, Brooks. I'm with you on you, that. Cause yeah. It's just like, because you're going to have, like, if you go to these big events, like the one in Pennsylvania we always talk about. Yeah. You're going to have people that's complete douches. That's just going to go out and just do it because they can do it. Well, that, fortunately, that, that doesn't happen. Like, we had one incident, and I think there was just a misunderstanding. Unfortunately, there's one incident, and it, it had to do with us. Right. Um, but, you know, we, we didn't, we haven't talked to the guy yet, but I think there is a misunderstanding. Um, but besides that, everyone was super fucking cool. Like, online... These guys are... It, this seems to happen a lot with a lot of things. Like, online, a lot of these guys are fucking assholes. Right. And I've dealt with it. And a lot of people have dealt with it. They deal with it. Because mm -hmm. they're assholes. Everyone else are assholes. Everyone's just dicks to each other. Right. <clears throat> Not in the funny way. Like, like Blood Pack, we're just like, well, we're a group of dicks. It's like, yeah, I think it's everyone does that. But, like, online, it's like... <clears throat> it's a bit much, but in in real life, like these, like no one out there, like I said, except for the one, um, I which I believe was a complete misunderstanding. Like everyone out there was like pretty fucking chill. Like everyone was really cool. That's good. That's like good I saw people that like, like kill people, and then realized that you know they were looking the other way, trying to get some like game information. And they're like, no, you you weren't you weren't in. You were asking a question. Come back. You're you're still alive. <clears throat> well, I respect that, dude. Yeah, like the, I all that. I saw that all day, and I didn't watch the tournaments because we were trying to do unit stuff. Right. But I I read, and I heard a lot of people said that, you know, the honor in the tournaments was great. Like I I saw people that, like there there was a certain unit there that. Seem to have certain uh, higher prestige than everybody else, and I saw guys in that unit like just taking, like taking shots that and like taking deaths that I, even I was like, oh, really? Like I saw this one guy get killed, and I thought he just got arm. Like it looked blatantly obvious to me that he got hit in the arm. Sure. And basically, if you hit in the arm, you lose your arm. If you get hit in the leg, you lose your leg. If you get hit in the body, you're dead. If you lose two limbs, you're dead. Right. And headshots are not allowed except for with arrows, javelins, and rocks. And rocks are just just a bag stuffed full of, like, scrap foam. Fuck that. <laughs> it's, um, so that, that's the rundown of the rules. I see, I so, see, you, I see you fuckers. Do you have a slingshot with the rocks? No, oh, but, that'd be fun. but they don't know what. There was this chick <laughs> out there. I think she was an elf. She had, she had a spear, but on the uh, non-stabbing side of her spear, there it was a Y shape, and she had um, a leather like pouch. It was so it was like a lacrosse stick. Oh, okay. She could pick up the and her rocks were all like perfectly round balls. Uh, most of the ones that I've made, I've seen, they're just like a bag with like scrap foam stuffed in it. And, uh, but like she had, like hers were like round, like perfectly round balls. So she could like roll them up and, um, and just like launch them across the field, <laughs> which was pretty I mean, interesting. When we did one of it, that's what I did. I tagged my, uh, or wrapped my spell bag around my sword. Yeah. But you weren't like launching, like she was launching them. Let me ask How you this real quick. Them, though? Like a lacrosse stick. Oh, okay. Like that's it was. Cool. It was just like and a lacrosse legal? stick. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. What about a uh, not a slingshot, but just a sling? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. 
And how are you going to kill with a rock if it just hits somebody? Headshots. Head Heads shots. and That's necks it. only. Yeah. So, like, if, but it's death. <laughs> it's death. But like, you use somebody with a crossbow. Or exactly. just a regular bow and arrow. Yeah. yeah, you can use crossbows. Someone actually had a crossbow. I thought that was really, really cool. But it now, has to be a very particular one. I'll just, I'll right. just about to say that. I think we've been over this before. Crossbows can be very... They can hurt you really. Like, it, it depends, like, the tension and stuff on the draw weight. Yeah. Yeah, you can only... And this is the reason I've only seen one person. I don't know where you get a 15-pound yeah. draw we tried to weight. find one. Yeah, it's, it's a while it, back. It like a be. fucking kid's one or some shit. Yeah, it can't be higher than 15 pounds. And the reason it's 15 pounds is full-size bows and short bows and all that, non-crossbows, right. are 35 pounds. Yeah, I use one. Unless you're within, like, 20 feet, then they have to be half draw. Right. So you're only getting half the power. So crossbows at all times can only be 15 pounds. I and still don't trust it with a damn crossbow, though. I've never, This is the first time I've seen it. it they don't shoot far. Because the head of the arrows are so heavy. Like, I could hit... Yeah. Like, I'm... You might be able... You could shoot across this garage. We're in a single car garage right now. And you could shoot from one side to the other, no problem. But that's about it. I'd be more worried about getting hit with a bow than a 15-pound crossbow. Bows the way. get you. There's been... Though, with that one event we went to where I nearly died... I got hit a few times by somebody's arrows. They had sh- <laughs> they had nerf arrows. They were fucking. No 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 the uh, the one with uh, the springs. Oh. Where okay. I nearly died. Oh. So with a cross. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep on saying crossbow. A bow and Is arrow and a uh, what? I think it's Riley. Riley. Speaking of which, we did eat great. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, talk to her. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Sandstorm cooked up some badass food. Throughout the whole weekend, uh, we had like chicken fajitas. That sounds good. The best chicken fajitas I've ever had, like for real. <laughs> I live Camp- off chicken fajitas now. Campfire chicken fajitas with some corn, like Mexican corn he made. Anything campfire is delicious. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's fresh. Then we you had, cooked. then we had um, for lunch on Friday, we had uh, veal goulash. Veal. Yeah. I've never had veal before. Oh, God. Yeah, it's so good. Feels really good. Veal is delicious. And, delicious. Uh, that, yeah, that night we had uh, chicken fajitas. The next morning we had uh, eggs and bacon, which I didn't know there was bacon until it was gone. Bacon's delicious, too. And then uh, potatoes. Turkey bacon's good. And uh, fresh, and they were fresh eggs, farm fresh eggs, because Rhaegar has a farm. Rhaegar has a farm, and he has fresh eggs. And E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> On his farm, he had an egg. And um, that night, we had, it started as beef stew, but... <laughs> that don't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> well, because uh, we were asked to bring beef, and someone was like, hey, I'm bringing the beef, and someone was like, hey, I'm bringing the beef. And then Wendy's well. was like, we got the beef. <laughs> and Burke and I, we got the horse. Wendy's can get fucked. What? Um, McDonald's has. Oh, we're never getting sponsored by Wendy's. Look at that. <laughs> we, we might. Fuck oh, Wendy's. Shit. I know people. Huh? I know oh, people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know people, too, and they don't want me back. <laughs> I know people. Oh, but anyway. So, then we had beef stew that... Uh, he told me to go put the beef in, and it's like, ah, uh, but the pot's full already. <laughs> so, like... There's so much, like, people brought so much beef that it ended up being, like, just beef and potatoes. In that the, sounds great. There ain't yeah, nothing wrong with that. No, That's a good combination. Yeah, it was great. It Here's was my question. Beef stew we could eat with our hands. What kind of spices and stuff did you use? Now, I don't know, but he came with, he was prepared. He, had he came food. with a fucking kitchen? I got yeah. a question for you guys. Kimberly really made fun of me the other day. Um, so, I think I've talked about it on the podcast a little bit, but I'm doing a low carb diet now. Uh-huh. And she went. She actually had low carb bread. What the hell is that? It's just like super grain bread. It's delicious. Fake bread. Gotcha. No, it's really not. It's like actually, <laughs> low carb bread. Yeah, it's crazy. Son it's of a so bitch. good. It's just like you ever have the wheat bread where it's, it's dry. From Save a Lot. Yeah, but it's like that. It's just like oh, dry wheat, bread. Uh, yeah. Huh? Oh, I'm just being a hype man. But it's, it's good. <laughs> so, but what I, I eat a lot of ground beef and tacos. Right. What I did is I took the bread, I took the ground beef, already cooked, put it on there, piece of American cheese, heated it up, 
I made a cheeseburger, right? Oh, okay. Kim says, no, because it wasn't a patty. What? And I was like, no, it's ground beef and cheese. It's a cheeseburger. It can be whatever <laughs> you want it to be. Is a hot dog or sandwich? You know Actually, you know what? That's kind of like a... Is water wet? Don't... Really stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll tell you what, though. Don't do that. If it was anything, it was delicious. <laughs> it kind of sounded like a sloppy joke without the joke. There you go. That's true. That's just the sloppy, sloppy bit. Yeah, the sloppy bit. <laughs> hey, high carb. Joe left the building and left the sloppiness. Well, Kim also found low carb barbecue sauce. The fuck are y'all finding this shit from? When Dixie she found it. Yeah, but is all had... this stuff expensive? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you I'll tell to, you what's expensive. Look here. You want you do you you need to it's a store in Ocala about you know what Burlington and Best Buy is? Yeah. It's a food store. They got all I kinds of healthy shit. I went there the other day. What? It's so expensive. Every every you eat I health, paid well, eight dollars for a jar of spaghetti sauce. That, yeah. Huh? yeah that, no no no, it's twelve dollars at this place. Wow. The store was it is expensive, but they got the oh my god, they got everything like a, that we could have bought there that was low carb was more expensive there. Right, I agree, but like when I that was my first time going because I went to Burlington to look for uh, Go to Aldi. Don't go there. I'll I've been to Aldi for. Yeah. I've been there. What? But uh <sighs> Damn. What? But uh what's something keep talking about? Like? Oh yeah, good point. I see we're going off track. Go I'm sorry bro, go ahead. I was just talking about food. It was it, damn good food. And we're the, I think we're the only camp actually cooking as well. Like <clears throat> Well they normally have a feast, right? Nor yeah, normally from yeah, what I understand. Badass. Turkey legs uh, everywhere. Usually it's like chili. Well, somebody you must have to ton. organize that and pay for it. Yeah, you have to pay extra for that, don't you? Well, oh, it's, yeah. usually it's included in the price of the event, from what I've seen. Mm-hmm. Now, this is my first event, first official event, and they didn't have a feast, but the tickets were a little cheaper. Okay. But it wasn't a whole lot cheaper. All right. So I was hoping for the feast. So it seems like that's a really cool opportunity for everyone to come together and socialize yeah. from the different camps. And that didn't happen, so they still had the longhouse, which is like the pavilion, but there was no reason to go, necessarily. Mm-hmm. Thursday night, they had board game night. That's cool. Except, uh, I don't know about that. I wasn't cool with it, because I was like, well, board game night, That's I'm the last person to complain about that, but that's not... Arizona you had a night. bit like this, you going to put fucking board games? Now, there are yeah. certain board games that would make sense, but, you know, I know they weren't playing those. Right. And I, I love board games, obvious. Man, fuck that. Yeah, you you fuck out there, you out there in the woods, I'm sorry to interrupt, bro. Yeah. You out there in the woods, you LARPing, go play Manhunt. Do something like that. And honestly, if I, like, if I was going to that and you told me they're going to board game night Thursday night, I'd be like, I'm not taking my fucking cardboard yeah, fuck games board game. out there. Like, if I actually would have <laughs> with you, I would have cussed you out. Yeah, like, when I saw that, I was a little disappointed. Fuck that. Go put no. a flag on the other side of the forest, bring but, your LARPing tool, your uh, weapons, what, yeah. and play Manhunt LARPing Was that style. maybe the replacement for the feast to try and get everybody to come together? That's a good point. Well, sort of, because Thursday's slow, because that's, like, the Everybody's hardcore people up. just coming in, because it didn't officially open until 5.30. Yeah. Right. So, it's really just come get your stuff. Like, we didn't even change into our costumes. Thursday night. Mm-hmm. It was just getting everything ready. So So everything didn't officially start till Friday. Yeah, like there was no like event stuff happening until right. Friday. Right. So board game night kinda of made sense and it kinda of was Get everybody you know, together, get everybody used to each other, commu- you know, communicating, talking to each other and yeah. stuff. And board games is a great way to Well yeah, that is good that's a good source of communicating. Yeah. You but know. and like I said, we are we are trying to bring the LARP into back into the game. I respect so, that. Like, when they do board game night, it's it's actually... No, I wouldn't have done board game night. I would have done, like, werewolf night and cash and guns and stuff like that were the, the super social games, social deduction games. After I think they, ha- they had all that kind of stuff, yeah. I think. But I would I would have did something different, totally different. I, instead of social, I would have went competitive. Yeah. Because LARP should be about competitive. You know, let's, let's fight and win for our team. Win for, our, you know, our theme and shit. Like I said about the manhunt, we get all the teams there. Everybody set up for camp. You get a flag. All right, your team against this team. You know, y'all go in the forest. Put your flag in a certain spot. Everybody go back. Blow the whistle. Y'all go. See, see somebody. Lark fight. Get to somebody the get flag that flag. Would be fun and large. That'd be badass, especially at night. Well, what they do during the event <clears throat> is um, when they call the fighters to the field. Um, 
Of all things, that's going to get edited out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. No, there's going to be plenty of editing in this podcast. You're going to be up good. like 5 o'clock in the morning. That's Because <laughs> there's another one coming. Um, I got like a couple coming, too. So, we go to... Let's... So I, I slept, I tried to sleep with my hand. Like I couldn't fucking sleep because I don't have a bug net. And the bugs were so bad. The mosquitoes like fucking crazy. I have a picture of my arm and it looks like I've been like chewing. I should just on. get one of them bug lanterns. I didn't even think about it. I thought it was going to be too cold for the bugs. Note to self, if you camp in Florida, you are going to experience mosquitoes and other kind of insects because you are in a swamp. This is my second time going camping. I'm not, I'm not ditching, I'm just saying. All time. My whole life. I'm just saying, you know, for the people that's listening, you know, if you're yeah. going to go camp out in the state of Florida, bring some fucking spray. I mean, we have, sleeves. we have bug spray. Like, we, I came prepared. Like, I had everything. Like, you better hit them things like you in Louisiana because you hit them, they bite your ass back. You better kill them, motherfuckers. Yeah. So, I ended up not sleep. I got, like, 20 minutes of sleep because I went back to the truck eventually. And uh, I just said, fuck it. I'm going to go take a shower, which was cool because I had showers there. That's nice. And, um... I took a shower, I got ready, and just kind of waited around, like, I got my face paint on and everything, and, uh, when Rhaegar's alarm went off, he wasn't waking up, so I was like, Rhaegar, get up, leave the unit. (laughs) (laughs) It's like something on USA. (laughs) So, so we, um, everyone got up, we had breakfast, um... See, that was, we're on Friday. So, Chorus Guard had not shown up yet. So, it was just um, me, Balmusa, and Rhaegar, and Sandstorm, and Sandstorm's girlfriend? Sandstormy? It? I don't, she kind of has a character, but she's not completely sold on it yet, I think. So, she doesn't really have an official name. She just wanted to be there with him. Yeah, and she brought some cool shit. Um, like, <clears throat> some really cool shit. And it, we all have, like, walking sticks, because we're all monstrous creatures, for the most part. And hers is probably the fucking coolest. It's got, like, a skull with antlers on the top, but it's got, like, quartz crystals coming out of the back, like, it's a skull. I don't think she had that at the Family Door event, did she? She did, but she didn't really use it. She didn't use it in this either, because it's not finished. Okay. But it's cool as hell. And she brought, like, tons of candles and stones and just a lot of cool stuff um, that really, really helped with the, the camp setup. Um, so we had breakfast, and uh, so I was there, Sandstorm was there, Rhaegar was there, she was there. She doesn't fight, but she helped because uh, Sandstorm and her brought their dogs, uh, Zoe, I think, and Rocky. Two gigantic labs. I think they're labs. Uh, giant dogs. Um, so she kind of watched them while they were fighting, which was pretty cool. Um, so we go to the field, and I brought my, my war drum. But I didn't want to, like, march us... <laughs> what the... What the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn! <laughs> he said... <laughs> I'm dead. Man down. Man. <laughs> I am so sorry. God damn. <laughs> and, that's, and that's how the zombie virus spreads right there. God damn. I got Ebola and blackism oh at the same God. time. My face just exploded. Damn. I am so sorry. Fuck. I got to. God damn. Go ahead, bro. All right. So uh, I brought my wardrobe. And I didn't want to drum, I didn't want to like march us to the field until we're all there. So I just went over with them and uh, I, I took some pictures and some video um, of the, I think we got there and they were just fighting, <laughs> just ditch fighting, you know, this team versus this team, you know, fight to the last one standing. Like get worn up and stuff? Yeah. And then they <clears> did <throat> a, this is what they do, they do scenarios for the actual event. <laughs> And, uh, so the first actual scenario was the, they'll take, like, rope or, you know, like, chalk and paint the ground. Uh-huh. And, but what they did was they made, um, they made, like, a, a lane that was supposed to be, like, a drawbridge and, like, a big square out of the rope. Right. 
and that was like the inside of the castle and there's three cones inside and the attacking team had to come in and get the cones and bring them back to their point their their spawn point which is where if you die you go back there and you can come back right so but when you got in and you got the the cone uh you couldn't attack or defend you just had to run with it Mm -hmm. and everyone else had to defend you i was like man that looks impossible and they had 20 minutes to get all three back. And uh, so that was pretty cool to watch. Um, apparently they did the attacking side won during one round. Um, but I missed it because one of our other guys showed up. Grimace showed up. And I helped him unload his stuff and find our camp. And didn't really need help finding the camp. Our camp was pretty obvious. Um, but, and then I... I remember going back to the camp after we unloaded his car, and I remember sitting down and just, like, I just kept falling asleep sitting there. Like, I couldn't even get up to go back to the fighting. So I was like, all right. So I, I stumbled over to my, my hammock, and the next thing I know, I was out. Because there was no, like, bugs out during the day or anything, so I was just out. Uh-huh. Like, I don't know how long I slept for. But next thing I know, it's about, like, 2 o'clock, and, like, fucking... Sylvaeum's there, which is the other unit from our realm. They're down south. And, like, I think they showed up earlier, but, like, they were all, like, back around the tent and stuff. And I just woke up and was like, oh, what happened? What I miss? <laughs> um, I don't think we did any more fighting that night. Uh, I think we just kind of hung around, uh, which was a little boring. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping to do more, but, you know, I think we have to be more proactive about that kind of stuff. Right. Like, the non-fighting stuff. You just go out to go with the damn flow. Yeah. And, or I think we need to make our own flow is what it is. Well, if we need flow, we need to call progressive. (laughs) (laughs) But, uh, then later that night, I know we did, uh... I think that's when he was cooking again. And yeah. Note to self, they ate very well. Yeah. The dude that was cooking, what do you say, what, 6'8"? <laughs> yeah, he's... You know he's a big dude. Fucking he's, Undertaker, motherfucker out there cooking good food. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Go cook for us, man. <laughs> and uh, I don't remember what happened that evening. Like, next thing I remember is uh, Korsgar showed up. Eventually, and he brought. I think we were just hanging out, mm-hmm. just like hanging out with our unit and Salvaeum, because we we know those guys. Uh, they're they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah. We just sat around and kind of made made fun of the one guy. Uh, sorry, Nick Junior. Nick Junior, <laughs> not the TV show either. I was gonna say that. <laughs> yeah. Kind of got me there. No, because he looked like. Uh, there's this one guy, oh, what was his character's name? I should know their character name, but I don't. Um, his character's name is Vega. Uh, Vega. Anyway, he looked just like this other guy. Like, they dressed exactly the same. Like, everything looked identical. And they kind of look, they kind of look a little similar. <clears throat> uh, they're like the same height. Uh, kind of the same. White people look all look the same. Kind of the same. Of course we do. They have the same skin tone, which they're uh, Jeremy. Um, <laughs> no, no, not Jeremy. Uh, not us either. What? Uh, um, I don't know what their ethnicity is. No one gives a shit about that shit. Yeah, <laughs> but, the, but I'm just, just they look as their skin tones are close. Their hair, their hair color. They're is probably exactly cousins. The same. I don't think so. Aren't we all? And it, I respect that. Oh. And, but he's wearing like exactly the same costume. Thank you. Thank you, fuck. Um, <laughs> I've got to get out of my pack. I'm going to get in trouble. Um, I need some more alcohol. <clears throat> what, what, what are we having for dinner? Oh, no, she brings Speaking of eating good. Brian, t- Brian telling the story 
and I'll tell you, it's a great story because we heard a little bit before. And my stories are super long winded. You're welcome. You know, but it's a, it's a great story. He's talking about good stuff and all that. What the, I don't get a bowl. Your eyes. My eyes are fine. My eyes are fine. I can see. I, I ain't blind yet. The one thing I want, well, Brian, he's going to get to it. Uh, about the uh, impact he made the one day when they started fighting. And, you know, I want I want to I want y'all to hear this because LARPing may not be for everybody, but there's always mm -hmm. something for somebody to do that don't fight. And you can't fight. Yeah. yeah, yeah he can, Brian can fight. He just can't because of what's wrong with him. Right. Let's, yeah. let's don't get that twisted. You know. He can fight us because we know not to hit him. Right. Right. Fight. But other people don't know. Yeah. You know there's something wrong. That'll have to be for after podcast. We got chips and dip. Dip was so much. Oh, you think it's for after podcast? Fuck that, I'm eating now. This is for you to edit. <laughs> <laughs> this is for. I can't edit crunching noises while you're eating. Let's, figure, let's find out. We'll, Google we'll, it. We'll be quiet. Should I pause it? Um. So, well, let me finish Friday night and we'll pick up Saturday. Okay. So, Korsgar shows up. He's friends with everybody. So, he's, he's super social, butterfly guy. And uh, he brings all the. Uh, <laughs> Brooks is trying to get quiet. He bring, He's the bringer of the booze. Um, yes, everyone was of age. Yes, it was a. We were allowed to drink at the uh, the site. And. Uh, um, Fuck it. So when he showed up, the part it livened up a little bit more. Some people had already went to bed. They got tired of waiting. Um, but it was just... It was it was getting cold. Uh, but it was nice um, to sleep in my hammock that night. Mm -hmm. I slept so damn good. The hammock was so comfortable. Um, it was cold, but not freezing like it was the next night. Um, but yeah, we'll pause so we can eat, and then okay. I'll talk about Saturday when things got really interesting. So, so Saturday morning, we've had breakfast, <coughs> and they call fighters to the field, and uh, we we all eventually get up and get ready, because by this point, it's fucking cold. It was cold that weekend. Yeah, it was. It was uh, you know like forties, fifties, in the fifties or so. Right. That night. But once about six o'clock hit for some reason, it just dropped. Right. It was so cold. So we're just sitting there. We're like under our, uh, we're under blankets and like as much costume pieces as we have. Like I can't, I was prepared. Like right. I knew it was going to be cold. So I made a cloak for my character. Um, so I had something to put on that was in character if I got too cold. Uh -huh. And it was, it was cold. I'm glad I made it. Um. So we finally get up, we get ready, and I was wanting to drum from camp all the way to the field. Uh -huh. But uh, Evan Light, which is another unit, I'm not exactly sure where they're located, somewhere in Florida, um, <clears throat> but they were do someone in Evan Light was doing a trial, which is, uh, now I don't know exactly how theirs work, but usually a trial is... Like an initiation kind of thing. Right. And it looked like... He, I, we knew he'd been going at it for a long time when we passed. And uh, we all stopped and watched. Because a trial will draw a crowd. Because it's usually one guy either fighting a bunch of people or doing a bunch of different fights in a row. Or sometimes just getting beat. You yeah. should save Lance's trial for Lance. Because he should be on the show soon. Yeah, we can't promise that though. And, and speaking He's of trial, a good story. It will be a good story. Well, he can tell it from his point of view because I can only tell it from mine. We, okay, we, fair enough. It, don't be interrupt. Speaking of trial, like is like, is that like a fraternity? Kind of like you know how people want to join a fraternity, they gotta do yeah. certain things. Yeah. Okay. I'm not made right as extreme. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Not like sometimes run around a whole yeah. college campus in a whole tuxedo. Yeah. Lance's is pretty brutal. Yeah, Lance's was. Really brutal. 
Uh, apparently, uh, some groups used to just beat you until they were done. It's fucked up. Much. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up, dude. Um, so, now I don't know what was going on in this guy's trial. Uh, what was his name? It started with an F. Fucker. I'm, I'm so bad at remembering <laughs> people's names. Fernando. Um, Frederick. Yeah, I'm sorry. He deserves me remembering his name. Francisco. Fucker. Um, <laughs> What's but, our code word? Oh, get fucked. <laughs> oh. Get fucked. <laughs> it was him, and he was fighting these two guys. And yeah. they were, I mean, all three of them were fucking incredible mm-hmm. fighters. Um, but every time he would die, he would get like a 15 or 30 second break. Uh-huh. And people would run out and pour water over him, give him Gatorade. Mm-hmm. They're rubbing him down with something. It looked like it was probably like an icy hot or something. You know, it kind of sounded like it was something like off of Gladiators or something, you know? Oh, definitely. Right. It, it intense. Like, he was getting his ass whooped. I could do it. And he was, he was, he hung in there. He did it. Um, I mean, I could have fucking done it. <laughs> that's, that's fucking so, crazy. So, as we, but uh, Korsgaard, you know, told me, you know, they're doing their trial don't drum when we go past. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. You know, don't want to interrupt, you know, what everyone else is doing. Right. So we just kind of walked up and we were watching the trial. Like I said, it was intense. Um, and then when they did kind of like a, you know, when they were a little more serious about people getting to the field, um, we kind of went off the opposite direction. And so we had about probably a couple hundred feet uh-huh. For me to uh, drum behind them as they made their way to the field. And it definitely drew some attention to the unit. Um, people were definitely looking and like, who who are these people? I think I heard someone said, oh my god, they have, they have a drummer. Like, and I'm not a fucking drummer either. So the whole time I'm like, god, I hope none of these guys were in like drum line or something. <laughs> None of these guys are actual drummers. The movie drumline. Mick Cannon in a fucking <laughs> yeah. LARP yeah. costume and shit. Or like, these guys are gonna fucking hate me. You know and Mick Cannon was in Ocala? That motherfucker was here? Fuck he, him. He was in Easy Street. What the hell is that? The go-kart place in Ocala. Fuck Ocala. I love Ocala. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, I'm also like, man, I hope I'm not annoying anybody by drumming. Because... I could see it getting annoying, but, so, uh, you know, I marched them to the field, and I stopped, and, you know, they were, uh, you know, they took the field, waiting for everybody else, and the guy on the megaphone, you know, he, he did one more, you know, fighters to the field, and he looked over at me, and he's like, and you with the drum, keep drumming, I was like, okay, so I just, I kept drumming, trying to get, you know, I think it was helping him get more attention to the field. Because it was definitely drawing attention. Right. So, you know, more people came over. And, like, when I noticed they were giving instructions or whatever, I would either soften it up a lot or stop Mm -hmm. or do it real slow and soft. Right. And uh, then they started the scenario, which uh, I said spin to win earlier, and you said that's a League of Legends thing. Yeah. Well, they were doing a League of Legends scenario. Which is badass. Where they had it split into three lanes. I don't know anything about League of Legends. At all. I, I you need no to play idea. it one day, because that would be entertaining as fuck. Uh, I have no idea what it is. I know it's a game. I don't even know what it's on. PC. Just PC? Yeah. Alright, well, anyway. Le- is Dota the same thing? It's just a different game in that genre. The same idea? Yes. Very much the same idea. I'm not going to try to understand. But anyway, it was a League of Legends... They also called it Dota. Whoever called it whatever they wanted. But it basically was three lanes, basically a square with two triangles in the middle cut out that uh-huh. they considered jungle and you couldn't go into. And that's where the heralds, who are the referees, mm-hmm. kind of hung out. Uh, but you could shoot through it if you have a bow and <clears> arrow, <throat> or uh, you can swing through it as well. You just couldn't walk through it. And you had to get to the others. Uh, it was split into two teams. You had to get to the other side, and there were rings on the ground. I think they called them their nexus. And you had to get in there. <laughs> nexus. With a... 
of oh. <laughs> a blue weapon, which is like a sword sword, short sword or something like that. And every time you hit the ring, you got a point. And you know, if you die, you have to go back to, to your to your spawn point. <clears throat> and uh, so I would start drumming slow as people, either as everyone like had to go back and respawn, or as uh, as people were like forming up. And like as I noticed people getting closer and closer, I would get speed up more and more. And then like when people really got into it. Uh, like, I would play a lot harder and louder and faster. And, uh, then when my unit would come over, if they came over to my side, I would, like, follow them down the line. Right. Uh, try not to get in the way of the photographer, because there was a... Uh, hey, don't do that. There was a lady uh, taking a lot of pictures. I had a couple people ask me for photos of myself while I was drumming. Um, well, of course, Yeah. I hope I can find them, because that'll be nice to be able to see them. Yeah. Um, I've also had a lot of people comment and come up to me and check out my leaves. Nice. Because I have a um, a belt made out of netting that I made myself. And then off of that, I hung <clears throat> tropical-looking leaves, and they got a lot of attention. <laughs> a lot of people were really liking them. So... So I'm drumming through this scenario, and all, all of a sudden there's a guy behind me, and he's like, uh, well, yeah, there's a guy behind me, he kind of grabs me by the shoulders, uh, he's like, he comes up, he's like, hey man, uh, we're, we're about to do a ceremony, would you, you uh, cut it out for a few minutes? And I was like, yeah, yeah, because it was uh, the Evan Light guys, and they were getting... That guy passed his trials, and they were about to do his... The cars kind of jump, kind of do his fraternity bullshit. Yeah, yeah. They were, but they were about to do his, his ceremony, and, and it's a big deal. I mean, and that guy just got his ass handed to him. And that's just the little bit we saw. He went. He had, he was probably fighting for like half an hour, 45 minutes. See, I don't, I don't, that's just ridiculous. They, had, they have reasons. Like, oh, yeah. I, heard, I heard them after he beat them once... Like, I think they were fighting different styles. Right. Uh, and he had to beat beat them with them fighting in different ways. Now, was this... This may not have been his first trial. This might be one of the more advanced trials. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything about Evan Light. Right. And apparently, the, a little bit of their lore is out. Like, you can find a little bit out about their backstories and stuff. Uh -huh. But a lot of it is secret. <laughs> and I'm like, that's kind of cool. That's a fraternity. That's basically what it is. <laughs> kind of, yeah. You guys need to get the blood pack lore together and I can put it up on the site. Yeah? Like we support, you know, the blood pack and all that stuff. Yeah? I mean, I have my character lore. I mean, that can go up. Yeah? I have a, I have a character sheet made of it. I don't, like if it's a, like a character bio in a D&D &D handbook or something. That could go up. Yeah. You've seen that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Proud of that. Even did a little illustration of myself. Um, but yeah, so the guy came up. He's like, "Hey, can you uh, cut it out for a few minutes?" And like, these were the guys. Like, everyone kind of made seem like if anyone's gonna be a dick, you kind of want to watch out for these guys. Mm -hmm. But I've also heard that you know, one of the guys is known as the greatest human to ever exist. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> no, not the greatest man. Holy in the shit, world. me. Um, yeah, what was his name? Max or something? Uh, I think his character name was Broan. Max. He Broan. Up with Broan. <laughs> yeah. Was a great name. Jeez. And I think I think I know which one it was. Um, God, I'm so new. But yeah, we. I was told that he. All I need to know going into an event is just know that he is the greatest human who's ever existed. I was like, alright. That's pretty sure. badass to have. For yeah, like I mean, that, you know? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I mean, I mean he seemed cool. I'll fuck with that. Um, it was the guy, I think it was, you know, he, he did, you know, say, hey, cool, I like your drumming, or, you know, thank, thank me for drumming, or something. A couple of the Evan Light guys did. But, you know, when, when they asked, you know, I stopped, because I know what they were about to do was a big deal. Alright. Um, and then, like, I just stopped, 
because I didn't I didn't know if anyone else really liked it, so like, I just kind of stopped to wait and see, because I already there all the I noticed the guys that were fighting and the guys standing around them, they had entered the battle. I'm like, okay, well they're here, but uh, I don't know. Let me just I'll just wait it out. Mm -hmm. So I filmed the second the second round of the the League of Legends game. Uh, I've got the whole thing, so that'll probably be up on the website soon. Um, and that one was just a lot of fun to watch. And I think I've got some cool angles, and I think we could pull some really cool stills from it as well. Um, but then the then they did, I think they were about to, it, I, I got them a little confused. But I know in one of the rounds, um, the blue team, and Blood Pack was on the blue team. We won each one, but they finished a round in like two minutes. Uh, like, I don't remember which one. Like, I don't think I was drawing, or maybe it was the one, uh, Korsgaard, who was co one of the co leaders of our unit. From across the field, all I hear is, Balmusa, more drums! And I was like, all right, so I threw my drum back on. That's pretty badass, dude. What what size do you think that is? That drum right there. Yeah, it's a bass drum. That's a uh, shit. It's like a jazz size bass. Drum. Yeah, that's that's around like something you use in a high school jazz band or something like that. Yeah, so not it's too not big, like, not too small. Got a good, good little kick sound to it. Yeah, it's not like a huge bass drum. But it's, it's, it sounds good. I tell you that right now. And um, so and like I I wear it. I have leather straps I just throw on and I, I wear it. And uh, so I just kept drumming. And I got a lot of people who were just, like, every time someone died on my side, like, I at least got, like, a nod or, like, a wave or something. A lot, I got a lot of, like, oh, that's badass. Or I had one guy point at me who he wasn't fighting. Like, I was moving up and down the field. But we kind of, like, we looked at each other. He's like, you're doing it right. And I was like, oh, you're yes. famous. I'm doing it right. You a fucking legend in LARP right now. <laughs> Basically, right? Yeah. You know. So I definitely I was noticed type thing. You wasn't noticed. Least. You was you fucking known, son. <laughs> Notice and known are two different things. Well, people once people start calling me by my character name, then I'll be known. Are you calling yourself a bard? No. Because I don't really want to be a bard, but I'm... You need to find out what a musician in, in Samoan culture is called. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. And it's like, you know, real quick, what, what Brian just said, you know, all he was doing just beating the drum. Yeah, not and, well, by the way. He did, he just <laughs> beating off the way he know how to beat. You know, just going off the way his teammates... Crazy. Right, you know, <laughs> just kind of trying to keep the blood flowing, the goosebumps popping, and the hair rising. Yeah. And yeah. stuff like that. And people appreciate that. You know, well, I'm going off topic a little bit, but I'm going to say this. LARP ain't for everybody, but there's always something for somebody to do in LARP, right? Yeah. Now, if you don't fight, you can do stuff like, like Brian. Brian can fight. We know that. The motherfucker's a good fighter. He just can't right now. He's got a little injury and stuff. He's going to get well, and he's going to get back to it and start kicking motherfucking ass and taking fucking names like we know we can. But as of right now, he's beating a drunk. And what that drum is doing is motivating his team. And good night, what he just said, the whole fucking event. I motivated the whole event. Like, Brian is the fucking king of the land. The I, land! <laughs> I had a lot of people tell me... You are Stetson, son. <laughs> I had, had a lot of people tell my unit, they're like, man, I'm not even in your unit, but I'm so pumped. You like, made your unit famous. Yeah. I really said I really mean it. I definitely helped. That along with how cool our camp looked. And then just having good fighters. Uh-huh. Because uh, our new guy, um, our newest guy, Tim Grimace, at, I don't, I don't know if it was the last event or one of the events, he won the newbie tournament. Uh-huh. So, and when you, you, when you win tournaments, usually you get a belt flag. And uh, a belt flag is what is hanging on my garage door over there. I know you guys can't see it, but I'm showing Brooks. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's my old Shadow Spark belt flag. Well, I mean, so, that's like, good old days right there, boy. 
Like, he's got one. He's got... It's purple as well, which is funny. But it says, uh, you know, first first place noob tournament or something. Like, it's got a little logo on it. Yeah. And, like, you see guys walking around, belt flags all around for all the tournaments they've won, all the events they've been to. It's pretty cool. All the, like, groups they belong to. Because there's units, and then there's, like, sub cultures and like subunits like there's a lot of people you'll see with a uh, it's a red flag with a shield on it and the shield's broken in half and that's the brotherhood of the red Fair. and they all use the uh, red weapons and because the red breaks shields that's why they're... but once you join that you can get the belt flag and it's pretty cool stuff we don't we decided not to go with belt flags this time um but instead, we're going to paint our symbol on all of our shields and all of our, like, all of our stuff is going to have the symbol on it. So, uh, just instead of belt flags, because it's just to be different. So, in Samoan, musician is musica, or bard is pulu. Pulu! Pulu. What's pulu? Pulu! There you go. Just don't say that out loud in front of people that are like. Blue Blue says musician, bard. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh. I try it in my backstory. I've used a couple Polynesian words. Not a lot. Good. Well, Nana. I try not. Nana? No, it's, I actually use this, and this going on top a little bit again. I used it when I was coaching at one of the schools. As I said, well, Nana, that means my family, my community. In Samoa. Uh, you know, and uh, wrote it out in the helmet, and then we made shirts and stuff, and it, and people latched onto it. I want a shirt that says Wanana. Wanana? Because they, because the, what? <laughs> because they feel a part of it. You know, I mean, y'all should do that. Yeah, like I'm sure I'm gonna try to get them to use uh, some Polynesian words. I, you know, if, I, I want to get Jacob. You want to do it? Yeah. Let's go. Let's fuck with them. I'm going to fuck with them. You know what I mean. <laughs> What's the word? Get fucked. Get fucked. Oh. Get fucked. Let's get fucked. Okay. Let's get All right. F- you want to get fucked <laughs> right now? I'm not fucked. I'm happy. Uh-huh. Uh, <clears throat> so then we, uh, I marched them back to camp. And, uh, because it was, uh, lunchtime. Uh, we had, what did we have for lunch that day? Uh. Fajitas again? No, we didn't have fajitas. Uh, maybe one one side note. If you go camping with Brian and his LARP group, you will have a five star meal every fucking day. As long as sandstorms. And if I'm there, I'll cook too. I cook. I just gotta go shoot it in the woods. I don't like cooking. Fresh, fresh meat. Yeah, what? Go. I don't like cooking. So yeah. But thank God we in the medieval times. We'll be fucked. Yep, yeah, you would be. <laughs> <laughs> Did, did I cook at that one camp out, or did that end up not happening? Did you, you came, I think you just showed up the next day. Wasn't that one that was supposed to be in Inverness? What's that? Yeah. When you was talking about? Yeah. No, that's right. We didn't cook because we got rained out or whatever. Yeah, and it, No, everyone just left. Which one was that one? That was, uh, Thor, uh, Fengard. Wolfborn. Fengard, whatever, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't really exist anymore. Yeah, and the rabbit never showed up. Or it did, maybe. I don't it, know. It did. There, it did. We had rabbit. We were going to cook rabbit, but it, it rained. And Rabbit's delicious, it. too. It rained on this one, too. I've never had it. I you, was looking forward to cooking. You cooking. ever had squirrel? No. See, here's my thing with camping. If you go out there in the wilderness, especially with LARPing, you, you're doing characters or different you know stuff like that. And your character, Samoan and stuff, you know, your warriors and stuff. You got to go out there. If you fight in the battle, you got to go to eat what's out there. Go kill the wildlife and eat the yeah, motherfuckers. That's great. Cause, <laughs> you know? Because Lance brought the rabbit and I brought carrots and, and vegetables and shit. For the eat what's food. in front the of The rabbits were dead. You, you don't have to feed them carrots. <laughs> they're, they're it was for the soup. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a nice picture. But it, like, it wasn't like super, super wilderness. And, and don't tell me. <laughs> I know, I know, you know, listen, I'm telling you for your benefit because I know you're tired. I got a bunch of stuff to go through. So. I'm getting okay. sleep in my sleep. We still got the wrestling podcast. So we got. Um, it, it wasn't like super wilderness. It was a campground. In the land. Yeah, in D land. D land. What land? What land? D land. Apparently, we were awfully close to uh, Publix because everyone else was eating pups up. That's fucked up. Uh, 
That's the that's defeating the purpose of fucking camping. Hey, I agree. you sleep in your tent? I'm going to get a plumber sub. I'm yeah. sorry, I just it's <laughs> Yeah, but you know what though? It is a pup sub. They are delicious. And oh, if you're listening and you don't live in Florida, pub sub is the best. I Subway. think Club and Subs was ranked number one in subs. Did you just say Subway? What do you say? <laughs> Subway. Jersey Mike's beat Subway. I'm surprised there are Subways in Florida when there's pub subs. I love Subway. Subway, Jersey <laughs> Mike's, Firehouse. Jersey Mike's is good. I had it over what there. About Firehouse? You know Firehouse is number three in that list. No, Firehouse is a close, close, close second. You ever had Jersey Mike's? No, I've never had Jersey Mike's. Eat Jersey you Mike's know, first. You know this one? Okay. Yeah, no. So good. I know. Jersey Mike's is too expensive. If anything... It is expensive. They are pricey, but they're fucking but good. But so is uh, Papa... Or, no, Firehouse is this? expensive, too. Papa... Oh, uh, Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's is kind of expensive for what it is. I don't like Jimmy John's. Jimmy anymore. John's, they, they, what the fuck are we talking about? This, this is the problem with Jimmy John's. <laughs> this is <laughs> the problem with the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem with Jimmy John's. It's, it's a real food po- podcast. What the hell are we talking about? We it's go from market to food. It's real close to Publix. <laughs> what? Yeah. Is, what? Jimmy John's? No. What the hell? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying literally oh, physically. Location. Oh, okay. I'm about yes. to say. Boy, you bumped your motherfucking like, head. We should get Jimmy John's. And then you look over and like, oh, fuck, Publix is right nope. there. Yeah, oh, but that's not even a that's, fucking choice, son. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. You you know, know, Jimmy John's is good, but they got like a six-foot bread. That's yeah, it. exactly. That's it. This what nine dollars, eight, six dollars? And then you got Panera Bread. This is obviously close to us, but there's Panera Bread in the same plaza as Publix, and it's like, Pane- no, Publix. That's still not a comparison. No. Yeah. Yeah, and I've heard that, um, well, the law didn't pass, but when they were trying to pass the law to allow liquor in the grocery stores, uh, the Publixes that have um, the separate liquor stores, yeah, uh, there was, I guess, I don't know who said it, if it was official or not, but I guess they were going to turn that into like a... Like if that passed, if the law passed, like you bring the liquor into the store, mm-hmm. they were gonna turn the, uh, the like the outside store liquor store into a like a deli. I heard about uh, that over there. Yeah, yeah where like a quick service yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, where you can go sit and eat your pub sub. It's a uh, it's a spot. It's a pub in Orlando that almost like that. Oh really? They have the liquor store, but they you know they I heard people talking about that. And they kind of, they kind of was clearing the shelves of the liquor store, and all, you know at the point I didn't know they was making that that law. Yeah, yeah, it didn't pass. You know, a lot they starting to build a lot of publicists and starting. To, God damn it! What the fuck are we talking about? LARP. Oh, go ahead, man. <laughs> so, uh, uh, pub subs. People were eating pub subs instead of cooking food. Yeah. Um, God damn. And we went. I think we went back to the field, and they did some more. Um, Kind of like pick up, or no, before we marched back, they kind of did some, uh, like pick up fights. Uh, they were kind of cool to watch, but everyone was just kind of joking around by that point. Nothing real serious. We go back to camp, have lunch, uh, and we're. Did we go back to the fighting? I don't remember. You're supposed to remember these things. So. I know, I'm trying. <laughs> Like, but if you would have asked me yesterday, I could have told you. You got the itis. Yeah, I got the itis now. Oh, buddy. Stuff was good. That shit looks good. Um, so let's just skip ahead. So <laughs> it, it gets, it starts to get cold. And then I went home and didn't go to sleep. <laughs> and, uh, everyone kind of starts slowing down. Oh, uh, I think we just kind of hang out with, uh, no, no, this is the point where I I actually left for a few minutes. Because my sister lived down the street and she came and picked me up to go see her new house. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's but, pretty badass. Yeah. She, like, literally, like, five or six minutes away. Did you eat? God damn it, here we go again. <laughs> no, I just Are went to... Are you still house. hungry? I guess so, damn. <laughs> no, I just went to check out the new house. And oh, okay. I came back and... Uh, when I came back, they were getting ready to do trials. And Lance was going to do his trial. Uh-huh. Um, or Rhaegar was going to do his trial. I was supposed to have a trial. But my trial was going to be different since I don't fight. But no one would tell me what it was. So I have no idea what I, what I was supposed to do. And then uh, 
we were going to do one, maybe two more trials. Because we realized that the only person who actually has rank in our, and is actually a official member of our unit, is the newest guy, Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the one who won the noob tournament, which is cool. Like, he's he's gotten a lot better from the first time, like, we fought him. Because he used to be in another unit that wasn't that for one of those other game, local games. And we just kind of absorbed him because we're like, yeah, you're pretty cool. Why don't you come with us? We'll, we'll teach you the we'll we'll teach you the way. And um, and if there's a Sylvan listening right now, I'm not gonna do. I do know the way. I'm not gonna say it like the meme. Because all of Sylvan was on on the Ugandan Brotherhood meme thing, and I'm just. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about. No. I barely do. <laughs> I don't think anyone knew what they were doing. God damn right. But, whatever. Cricket, cricket, cricket. <laughs> so, I come back, and I'm like, oh, okay, let me get ready real quick. And we go over, and Lance does, or Rhaegar does his try. <laughs> God damn it, bro. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, this time, Rhaegar has to beat each fighter twice. So, and apparently Sylvan was leaving, and I guess they voted to stay for this. Because um, they had already packed up that morning. Like, we knew they were leaving. They weren't staying the night again. So, he had to fight everyone in our unit, most everybody in Sylvan, and then Korsgar found a couple other guys who I I knew a couple of them from another day event I went to, and I knew they were damn good. Mm-hmm. So. No, it's just like one on one fighting. Yeah. Okay. And he has to beat them twice, and right. then the next one comes right in. Like a gauntlet. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's a lot. It is a lot. Son he of probably God. fought I think with like ten people, Son but of he bitch. had to beat them twice. Uh, when Grimace did it. He fought everyone in the unit and some of the Sylvan people, and I think that was it. And he only had to beat him once. Uh So, Lance went through the Sylvan people, because they had to leave. Um, And then he went through... He he fought Grimace somewhere in there. And then, uh, then the other people from other units came in. That's when we had the little little, little salty moment. Um, guy thought uh, Lance wasn't taking his shots. Uh, I think there was just a misunderstanding. Because if you're if you because you've been talking about doing this, uh-huh. there's something called sloughing. Huh? There's a thing called sloughing. Sloughing. He had a stroke. Muffin. <laughs> I thought I had one. So if you like, if if someone hits you and you don't take it, you're sloughing. Like you're freaking sloughing. what we call in the athletic world flopping. 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 If somebody barely touch you and you fall like you got shot by a gun. Huh. Oh, it's kind of like the opposite of that. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So like, if I hit you in the arm, because you, in in dagger here you have to hit hard. Right. You don't take. You don't take light shots. You gotta hit with force. Like if I like if I like caress your shoulder with the sword, it doesn't count. Or like even if I make contact, but it's not. You gotta hit like a hear like a good sound to it or something. Yeah, it's it's gotta be a decent hit. Right. So a lot of people use that to their advantage, and they'll they'll just say light, you know, light. So if you get hit, just so usually, you'll say light if you get. A hit like that, like a real light hit, you know, like you know, and you gotta be careful because if you say that and it really wasn't, you know, they're gonna they're gonna fucking tee off on you. Right. Um. Actually, there was one time I got teed off on. We were just messing around. Uh, it was someone in my unit, and we were just we were doing some game like King, uh, kill the king or something like that, and this guy comes up. With a big ass weapon, just hits me so hard it echoes throughout the park, 
And I just, I think he hit me from the back, too. And I just turned around as loud as I could and just screamed, LIGHT! It was, it was fun. Because uh, it obviously was not light. It was a hard fucking hit. Fuck that shit. I'll start fucking clothes hunting and rock bottom motherfuckers. No, it didn't hurt or anything. It was just, it was loud. So, but anyway, so this guy, um, like, I, like, there's a saying, uh, take light, hit hard, hit, take light. You know, you take light shots and you just hit as hard as you can. So you don't have that problem. Sure. So what I think happened was, because this guy said Lance wasn't taking the shots. And, like, they're both legs. They're both kneeling down in front of him, in front of each other. And the last shot he took before uh, it happened, uh, it hit Rhaegar's garb, his, his costume. Cause he had he's got leather on like a war skirt, right. so it made a good it made good contact, but it was on leather, and I think what and then he took his sword with both hands a one handed sword with both hands, and just went to fucking town on Lance's arm and he said take your fucking shots, then he got mad and he stormed off and he said fuck your trial and Lance was pretty mad, but. Apparently he thought Lance was sloughing. I think there's just a little bit of miscommunication because Lance would there there wasn't enough of a break in between uh, Rhaegar Lance dying and then the, the their next round. Right. Because <clears throat> usually, like, because that's kind of it, it looked kind of like a practice, like the way it was going. It's like at practice, you know, you just keep fighting. Like when you die, you just hold your sword out to tap swords and you keep going. But this guy was being real aggressive, which he should have been. And he was shield checking him, which is perfectly allowed. And yeah, I mean, I'm kind of glad to see someone go out there and push him around. Like uh-huh. he was getting pushed around. It was his trial. They were supposed to that be. That does not usually happen, Rhaegar. Yeah. <laughs> now, now this dude, this dude was big. Yeah. Like he was a big guy. I, I, I mean, I'd fight him, but I don't. And I wouldn't. Rhaegar want. is a big guy too. Yeah, like I wouldn't. But he made Rhaegar look small. Damn. Jeez. Yeah. That's a double damn down. And like, apparently, this guy is a great fighter. Like from what I've heard, from what I've heard, I didn't see him fight. He was heralding. Right. I think he he's well known. Um. So like, I don't, I don't want to make it seem like he did something wrong. And, uh, I know Rhaegar was, he, Rhaegar wasn't sloughing, but he also wasn't making, he wasn't making it very clear that he died. Cause he was, he was winded. He was getting his ass beat. And I think when he would hold his, cause it's an honor thing to hold your, your sword out to tap weapons before you begin. And I, I, I don't think he was saying anything just cause he was, he was getting his ass beat. So I think. The guy he was fighting may have took that as like just a weak swing at him. Yeah. So I think that's what happened. I think there was just some miscommunication. I like to get Lance on him. What do you think, Jay? On the show? Yeah, and talk yeah. about that right there. That'd be good. He will. I'm sure he will. I want. I want to hear. Him. I want to hear and, Lance say it. And we talked about it. And Pussy we don't. Motherfucker. Sorry, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> and like, <laughs> like we don't want a problem with this guy. Like, Why not? Uh, let's, let's go kick his ass. No, uh, up until up until now, like he was like he was the guy. That told me to keep drumming in the beginning. Oh, okay, never mind. So, like, I don't know. But, I don't... To be fair, drumming, you could come drumming, up with an RT reason drumming. for Rhaegar and this guy to have a rivalry. Well, yeah, but he, all, he I don't, he's not real into the role play stuff, I don't think. Brian said the motherfucker famous, bro. Unless he is, then by all means, and if he's listening for some reason... Let us know. We'll, I mean, we'll do... In wrestling... If you mess guys, with Rygar, you mess with Brooksy. And that's all I gotta say about that, you son of a bitch. In wrestling, when guys have issues with each other, they make a story out of it. Yeah, well... Vince make a story out of it. Yeah, we don't... We don't want a problem with this guy. <laughs> no, no, but I could be like, you know, maybe the next thing be like, hey, you know, sorry about last time, explain the issue. But... We should have an issue. <laughs> Jacob, they, they ain't got no TV contract. Yeah, it, it wouldn't work like that. Because, <laughs> like, there's so little role play at this. Oh, like, okay. Like, it... 
No, nah, it doesn't. It doesn't work like you want it to. Fair enough. Like that okay. would work. I understand great. what you're saying too. Okay. I know. I know what you're saying. <laughs> like that would work great at like the Lion Door, but like okay. it just wouldn't go over well here. Gotcha. Unfortunately, because that that is a good situation to be in. But but yeah, like I don't. Like, I don't think this guy is an ass, and I I I know Lance wasn't sloughing. I think there's just some miscommunication. That so, motherfucker tired. Yeah. You know, when you get tired, you don't give all, you know, you just, you lose count, you lose your, what's the, what's the word, you lose your train of thought yeah. a little bit, you know, and you think and, about stuff and you don't do it because your brain tells you to do something else and your mind wants you to do something else too. Yeah, and it was really cold, and Grimace, the guy who did his trial already, he said that in a trial, you know, you start to not feel certain shots if you get, keep I'm getting sure. hit in the yeah. same spot. Yeah, you get numbed up and stuff. Yeah, so... Especially maybe, in the cold. The, yeah, I was saying, the cold doesn't help. Yeah, the cold don't help, yeah. So I got a feeling, like, if he fought this guy first, like, there would have been no issues. And, like, I don't know. Maybe, I, they'll, maybe they'll meet again. Oh, hopefully. I hope so. And I hope, I hope they're able to work it out. Yeah, hopefully we'll be there. I'll yeah, like, I don't... I mean, I don't think anyone in our unit has a problem with them. I don't... I don't... But I don't want to get into the politics of who doesn't like who and why. Politics. <laughs> and there's a fuck ton of politics and just fuck all that shit. I just want to go have a good time. Uh, if it's politics involved, my white ass is staying home. It's yeah. kind of stuff I like. <laughs> and there, no, and it, but it's not like po- political politics. It's just like, oh, I don't fucking like him. Fuck that guy. Oh, uh, maybe not that so much. It's, it's oh, drama yeah. is what it is. Uh, okay, no, there, there's politics and there's drama. <laughs> and I don't want any of that shit. I, I ain't like, got time for none of that motherfucking yeah, shit. Yeah, we just want to go and have a good fucking time. Drink beer, slash people with phone, and eat wildlife. Is yeah. that is that like a, a play on James Storm's look? <laughs> Damn right. Hey, fuck it. I don't know. Like maybe we'll offer him like a beer or something next. Don't time. give that motherfucker a beer. Nah, like, give him a warm beer. I mean, up until then, like everything was cool. You know, I don't know. Shit I, just, I don't want shit to be not cool. So. He's cool with y'all. You know, y'all say y'all cool with him. He cool with y'all. It's over. You know. So, if we'll if, you, if you're going through a gauntlet, you're going to be fucking tired when you get in. And yeah. the way you're describing this cat, it's like you're going, I, I'm going to use wrestlers as his term, all right? You're going through Evan Moore. You're going through Kofi Kingston. You're going through John Cena. You're going through Ryback. Then you got Brock Lesnar. Yeah. When yeah. you get it, Brock Lesnar, you fucking done. Mm-hmm. He was damn near the end, too, which sucked. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Like, I would have loved to have seen them gone at it first, actually. That would have been that. <clears throat> yeah. You know, that would have been a good story to hear. But, you know, the, you know, shit happens. I, like I said, I hope, like, whatever problems, if there's still a problem, I hope we can just figure out a way to get, for everyone to get over it and just have a good time. But, uh, so he continued his trials, and he fought and fought and fought and fought forever. Like, he fought, and I, I marched us up with the drums and I drummed throughout the trial uh-huh. and he told me that he probably couldn't have done it without it so you basically motivated everybody yeah like when he was like in between fights when he had to get water or something I would just do a, a real slow boom boom bro you might start oh. a world, world war 3 with that fucking drum and <laughs> shit son and like I would as he said, as I would pick up the tempo, like he would get more and more like, hype to keep fighting. So that's good, man. Yeah, and then he he finally made it. He made it through, but just, unfortunately, you know the, that little issue we had, kind I think, just fucking killed it for everybody. Yeah. Like when he, when he was done, he was just kind of done. That's everyone it. else was kind of done. Like, no one else wanted to continue. And that happens, you know, that happens all the time with stuff like that. You know, you just, ain't yeah. nothing you can do about it. That's just nature. Yeah, like, you know, there was supposed to be at least one other trial. I was supposed to do mine. I don't know what mine was, but I was supposed to do it. You know, we're very much still here. Are you sleep or something? Huh? I'm f- finishing up my story. Hell yeah. She was good. Goddamn animal. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, fine. And we go back to camp, and uh, I get asked to go watch the fire. Uh, I may have been asked to leave camp for another reason, because it was just like 
the leaders. I'm like, all right, fine. You know, I'll, I'll go. I'll go to. I'll just get out of here. Mm-hmm. I knew. I knew they were talking about what happened. So I went over to the campfire. And I was a little salty too. I was tired. You know that just happened. Uh, I could tell like it took the wind out of everyone's sails. So I was like, well, fuck, you know. And then er- and like everyone else is kind of starting to pack their shit up. People are leaving. Good town, go from worse going to bad. Yeah, like and not just like our unit, but like all of Sylvain left. Yeah. I didn't know they were even leaving because I missed the the conversation uh-huh. about them staying just for the trial. I was like, wait, where are all our Sylvain friends? And they're just gone. I was like, oh shit. You ha- you need to finish that. <laughs> and uh, damn. It's alcohol abuse. No bullshit. You ain't gonna act all abuse me. So, so I'm sitting around the fire. I'm bored. Yeah, I know. I know I'm not doing my trial. I don't know what else is doing theirs. Uh, and you know, I'm. I was told, you know, all right, nightlife is slow, but Saturday it'll pick up. You know, people will start drinking, getting more, you know, loose, and you know, Saturday night should just be insane. But by this point, some of the other guys were like, oh, well, we're probably going to, we're probably, we're probably, yeah, and it's also fucking cold. It's right. like 30 degrees. That it's not 30, it. but it's like, it's mid 30s. It's cold enough to be out there and not fucking camping. Yeah, it's like 35 degrees. And people are like, I don't want to, I don't want to camp in this. So people are leaving. Uh, you know, we're posted up by the fire. And I'm just, sitting there I'm talking to uh, Bartleby who ended up being like a real cool guy who I thought was two guys uh-huh. the whole time <laughs> like I cause he had a he had a cloak and a wizard's hat and I didn't realize that the guy in the cloak and the wizard's hat and the guy that was not in the cloak and wizard's hat was the same guy <laughs> so Brian got tricked <laughs> so you he keep talking I gotta step away for a second he helped us chop some firewood. And when he stood up <laughs> and he took his cloak and his wizard's hat off, uh-huh. my mind was fucking blown. I was like, oh shit, this has been the same guy this whole time. So That's the wizard and shit getting in your head, son. Yeah. So if Bartleby's listening, or anyone from, I think they're Guardians of the Bay? Uh-huh. Guardians of the Coast? Sorry. I'm sorry. Guardians of the here. Bay or Guardians of the Coast, if you're listening... You fucked up Brian's head. <laughs> Bartleby fucked up my head. Because <laughs> anytime I saw him with the cloak and the wizard's hat, it was dark. Right. And like around our camp, we didn't have a fire. We had we just had a bunch of tiki torches and candles. Right. And over by the fire, it wasn't a big fire, so it was still real dark. But he stood up and he took the cloak and the hat off because he was going to show us how to use a boy's axe instead of a, like a full size axe. Right. So you don't cut your fucking leg off. But he stood up and I was like, oh my god, this is the same motherfucker. It was probably uh, the favorite, my favorite person I met throughout the whole event. Nice. Um, What's the, uh, excuse me, I remember you telling me about a dude uh, who was making tools and stuff across from your camp. Oh yeah, and then there was one guy who showed up. Oh, let's see, I can't remember his name. I thought it was pretty cool you just explained that. I want to say his name was Artemis. We'll just call him that for now. Yeah, sorry if you're listening to this. You, you obviously know who you are. Uh, you're <laughs> the only guy out there with a fucking forge, and good for you. And being a badass at 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, like, he set up camp right across from us. Legit-ass tent. Uh, tiki torches all around, like, smaller tiki torches all around, but more tiki torches than we had. Right. But he definitely had, like, a base camp set up. Like, he was the only other person who put effort into their camp. Right. Now, he'd been there and done that. Yeah. Yeah. And he had some sort of forge going because we could just see the metal glowing through the night. And we could hear him banging away on his anvil. Right. Uh, you missed it, but what was it What did like? I miss? Oh, we had a guy forging. In here? Yeah. Yeah, he just left. No, he set up his camp across from us <laughs> and he had a forge set up. He was forging knife blades. Oh, wow. Like, real knife blades. And, uh... So I double missed it. I missed it at the show, and I missed you telling, talking about it just now. Yeah. So, 
That was cool. He was pretty cool. I mean, he was by the fire while we were cooking dinner, and I was supposed to be in charge of it. Um, I didn't really talk to him because I don't really. I'm not good at talking to people in general. I don't know why the fuck I do a podcast. <laughs> but, uh, but I mean, he seemed cool. Um, they had four legit camp set up. Uh, but yeah, that was, we were just kind of sitting around the fire that night. People were leaving. People were packing up. And, uh, I'm kind of bitching. I'm like, well, I've been bored through most of this, you know? I had to drum a little bit, and when I did, I mean, it was epic, but besides that, I was just kind of hanging out, and just, there was just nothing for me to be doing. And, uh, Bartleby even, you know, he's like, well, why don't you, uh, talk to this person? They, they're really into the role-playing aspect, the non-com stuff. Right. Non-com, non-combatant. And then he's like, or, or try the, you know, you tried this game, it's not for you, why don't you go try this game? And I was like, no, well, no, I like to fight, just I can't fight right now. So, he told me another game to check out, it's uh, down in Tampa, so I, I need to check that out, see what that's about. What was it? Yeah, I, I think he said it was called Mystic. Hmm. So, uh, I'll see what that's about. Um, he told me a couple people to talk to, to see if they had any suggestions. Um, and, uh, yeah, just, he was just a cool dude. <laughs> and then, uh, like, Rhaegar came over, and, uh, Sandstorm and Korsgaard, they were gonna leave together, and they're like, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna stay. And I don't blame them, because it was cold as hell. Right. So, um, so I was like, alright, fine. And we and we had, a, there, another group came up to the campfire, because the... No one came prepared with firewood. So, fires were starting to die, and it was starting to become few and far between. And they were just looking for somewhere to get get warm. And the, uh, the, the lady in the group, she was, uh, she was a photographer. And she noticed, you know, it, it was blood pack sitting here. And she's like, oh, just so you know, guys, I got, I got some really good pictures of you today, uh, and then she looked over and she's like, and especially you. And I was like, I was like me. You made like, an impact. Like I knew, like I knew she took a couple, and I knew there's a couple other photographers that came up and asked to take my picture. Right. Because I wasn't fighting, so I think they just decided, you know, should I? I should probably ask for. Well, hell, if you wanted to fight, you you had an impact in the fight. Yeah. So I was like, oh yeah, sure, go ahead. So I know a lot, a couple people have pictures of me. One person has a picture of me. And the wind's blowing, so, like, my costume pieces are blowing in the wind. Like Braveheart like, shit? Yeah, I bet it looks cool. But... I am immortal! <laughs> fucking Highlander. You fuck, I love Highlander. God damn, that motherfucker was badass. But, so, and then she said that, uh, she said, you know, I've heard a lot of people say that you were the best part of this entire event. Like, I didn't even know what to say at that point. I was just like, oh, that's badass. You the shit. And then her her unit or her friends she had with her, one guy was like, "Yeah, I wasn't even in your unit, but that drum just got me going." And the other guy was like, "Yeah, it was badass." And I was like, "Oh man, I I made." That's when I was like, "I made an impact. Maybe this wasn't as bad as I thought." That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. You know, you don't have to fight to make an impact in something, especially yeah. law firm stuff. There's other things you could do to help people get through the fighting part. The the uh, what you call it, uh, when they have to prove themselves to their they crew. Yeah, and, even just like me, I'm mostly going to be photo- do photography and video and cooking, hopefully. Right. I don't know, that was Sandstorm be mostly. So <laughs> probably me and Sandstorm if I ever make it out. Yeah, because he had, he had a lot on his plate, literally and figured. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's a fighter too, right? Yeah, like right. He, he's damn good fighter too. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that you would help, probably help him out more. Yeah, that's true. You know, get a lot off his plate. He could, you know, Cook and fight, you could just cook and record. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, like I kind of wish he had someone to help. And, I mean, I I just, I, I don't like cooking. I'm not good at it, so. I want to say that out on a podcast. What's that? You can't cook. I want to say that out loud. You know, it's just. He can't cook. He took culinary classes and worked. The motherfucker windows. can't cook. He doesn't want to cook. No, I don't want to. I can <laughs> if I need to. I can. Right. I, I, I hate before and it's been fine. It's been good. I, I don't like cooking. Why? I, I no, took, but 
You know what? I get it though, because like I grew up in a restaurant. I we cooked all the time. I cook all the time. And then when it's like Kim wants to cook, and like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Absolutely. Three, three years, I love cooking. Three years of culinary class, and I fucking hated it. And you then, know, then I got stuck in eight years of fucking fast food when I was just making food. Twenty eight yeah. years behind your mother and grandma, and they always cooking. I'm cooking. I, like, looking at them cook their recipes and the way they cook. Yeah. I'm gonna add my point of view to it and see what it tastes like and stuff. And well, I can cook. Yeah. I can make anybody toes curl. <laughs> yeah. Fuck who you are. You can be the goddamn Trump. Trump toes are curling. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. I don't know where that come from, but that's all I gotta say. I don't even know what it means, but it's just uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to fuck. I don't want to pay twenty bucks to cook. Yeah, that's understandable. And if you don't have to cook, you don't have to cook. Yeah, but you know, I I I brought the chicken. I brought the wrap. You know, I, I brought a bunch of other food. You know, here you go, guys. Eat up. I brought him his bugles that he didn't eat. Sandstorm, you didn't eat your bugles, um, but I did when I got home. So, uh, cause. So like I brought the food, I was like, uh, and like I did dishes twice, uh, except a little uh, sink in the back behind the shower, so you can like clean, spray off your dishes and stuff. Right. So me and Grimace did dishes a couple times, and like, just, I mean, cool. Like, but I was also prepared if no one really wanted to cook too. Like, I had, you know, crackers, chips. Uh, well, bugles. The shit, you don't have to cook. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I, was like, I was just about to say, like, see, he would step up and cook, but I didn't put fucking crackers and chips. No, like, I had, like, chili and, like, soups and stuff I don't have to cook. Like, Brian dumps everything in a pot, walks away, realizes he didn't take the styrofoam off the chicken. God damn. Yeah. It still tastes good. <laughs> but, what are these mushy bits? And one of the cool Protein. things, too, is there's a lot of, not bartering, just, like, because no one was really, like, trait, like, this for this kind of thing, but, like, the, like, Bartleby came over and gave us, like, almost a whole bag of ice, because it didn't fit in his cooler, and, uh, that was cool. I think we invited him over for food. I know Rhaegar tried to give him a beer, but it was Bush, and he said, <laughs> it pissed him off, he went over, went all the way back to camp for that. That pissed me off. You said that because ain't nothing wrong with Bush. But he was. It looked. I think he was drinking like craft beers and stuff. He drinking that the freaking. Oh my god, my pinky's up beer. Bill yeah. man, get a damn beer and drink it. I know he had a flat tire. Or fat tire. Flat. Tire. It was flat. I had that before. Flat tires pretty that going good. I tell you that right now. And. Uh, but you know what? Small Bush. Or something PBR. Like that. Natty Light. Red Dog. The cheap beer. It's the best beer. Oh, really? I'm sorry. That's all I gotta say about that. That's the damn truth. <laughs> uh, I'm Paul. No, no. <laughs> I don't know. I I had juice. I had apple juice and cranberry apple juice. <laughs> this motherfucker said he just had cranberry apple juice. What's wrong with that? What? Cranberry apple juice is good. Yeah. I ain't got nothing against. Uh, I don't have nothing against cranberry apple juice, but you got alcohol all over the place. Yeah, I don't drink that. That's a very good point. Yeah, that's, like, <laughs> that's a very good I don't point. I what the fuck you're ranting about. Hey, I'm just eating these chips. So, <laughs> so that was actually the the highlight of the weekend when the someone Brian became a legend. Someone else, you know, who I've never only time I've ever met was when she asked if she could take my picture, and then us kind of dancing around each other, going up and down the side of the field while I'm playing drums and she's trying to take pictures. You know, someone just, you know, tell me that I, I made the event for at least one person outside of my unit. It's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, so. man. So then we ended up, we just packed up the truck that night because I was like, you're not going to want to do this tomorrow because he was beat to shit. Rhaegar was beat to shit. Rhaegar got raped. He was, because he doesn't wear a shirt and like he was bruised up. I was like, it looked like you got a black and purple watercolor tattoo tramp stamp. Just ah! like the whole, his the whole tramp lower stamp. back was, bru- like everything was bruised on her. Real quick, can you, you know, explain the, what's in a sword or a weapon for LARPing? Yeah. Because a lot of people think it's just foam, but it's more into it. Yeah, usually it's a fiberglass rod uh, <clears throat> is the core. And then... Uh, 
Yeah, most people use fiberglass now. Some people still use PVC, but that eventually breaks. Right. Even though I've never had one. That's before. fucking dangerous if that shit break while you use yeah. it. But it's a fiberglass core. We use... That's either, dangerous too, fiberglass. We use uh, electric fence post. So okay. it's a 3 8 inch fiberglass rod. And then, depending on how you build your swords, there's multiple different kinds of foam you can get. Ranging from stuff you can go to Walmart to get, or stuff you could like special order. But the easiest way to build one is a 3 8 fiberglass rod, and then you take, you know those gray puzzle mat type foam pieces you can get? Yeah. You put in your garage, or you put like your exercise equipment on them, Okay. that kind of stuff. Um, you build like a box around the, the core with that stuff, because right. it's pretty tough. And you use uh, DAP contact cement to kind of glue everything together. Because once that stuff, if you do it right, uh-huh. so you have to put it on, let it dry, and then put it together. Uh, that stuff just does not come apart. So you build your box, and then you do a couple layers of blue foam, which you get your blue foam from a camp pad you buy at Walmart. It's made to go, un- it's a roll of blue foam is really all it is that's made to go under your sleeping bag to kind of give you a little layer between the ground and your sleeping bag. Right. For comfort and for heat and all that. And uh, if you look around in the garage, you can see both. But we don't have video, so you guys can't see it. Boom. But there's gray foam up there. That's that stuff, the interlocking stuff. Oh, okay. And the roll of blue foam is right there. That's like garage foam, isn't it? Yeah, like garage, like people use it in the garage a lot. With Warren, yeah. Like anti fatigue mat. <coughs> yes, that, that's yeah. EVA foam for the cosplayers out there. Uh, it's EVA foam. That's what a lot of cosplayers use to build stuff. Um, and then the outer layers are usually the blue foam. And uh, yeah, you put a cloth cover on it. You make a pommel the same way. Uh, they ha- it has to be certain sizes and meet certain weight restrictions and all that. And uh, you wrap your handle however you'd like. Um, A lot of people just do, you know, like hockey tape or something like that. Yeah. Uh, We like to get, we like our stuff to look a little better, so a lot of our guys use, like, leather wraps or something like that and add, you know, decorations to the weapons. Um, Yeah. That's you. That's usually how they're made, how the basic sword's made. Then you have spears and glaives and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, that'll be something that when Lance is on, we'll have to talk to him pretty extensively about that. And Wes, about what? We can get Wes on building the weapons. Oh yeah, yeah. Because Wes is pretty much just building now, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he even builds weapons anymore, really. Okay. But I mean, I I taught him how to build. I, the, the, the thing that gets me, doesn't, well, I, I don't want to say gets me, but the thing that kind of makes me happy to see is I brought this to everyone here. Yeah. You did. Like the, like the people in Spring Hill were doing this already, but a long, long time ago in the picture I showed you earlier, I found daggerhere.com and I was like, we need to do this. That's kind of like you guys never heard of podcasting. No one had. That's a very good point. I'm kidding. Yeah, I. <laughs> I know for real, like you did. If you didn't say that, I don't know what the fuck we doing. Yeah. <laughs> I listen to radio shows. It's the same shit. Yeah, I, I don't listen to radio <laughs> shows. That's you know, you got me listening to it because you know stuff like this. Yeah. Brian got me liking LARPing and wrestling even more. I love. I was born and raised a wrestling fan, but. Being with Brian and Jacob, you know, like, I love it even more. I expect it more. Especially this LARPing shit. I want to go out there and bust some fucking skulls in this motherfucker. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, I bust those motherfuckers. Yep. And once we're done recording, I'll show you some picture or video of the weekend. So All right. you can see what, what's going on. Um, but yeah, it, it's cool for me to sit back. And even though I I handed control over <clears throat> to Rhaegar and... Uh, the entire unit changed from what we built. Um, it's cool to see that it's still happening up here. Because, you know, we had the idea forever ago. 
we we learned to build or we built foam weapons shortly after we found out our weapons were terrible pool noodles and all that and back then i guess i still was... have the old weapons we should like take them apart and do a side by side <laughs> i've got one of my first ever okay. right here i'm holding it in my hand oh yeah it is a pool noodle with duct tape and it's got pvc in the middle it was my 21st birthday i believe Instead of getting drunk like everyone else because I don't drink. Bullshit. I made, I think I made 20 of these. Isn't that uh, all duct tape on the outside of it? Yep, it's all Holy duct shit. tape. <laughs> so when you get smacked, you fucking know it. Let me see. Don't hit anything. I'm going to hit myself. Yeah, you know it already. Right, yeah? I'll leave a little and, muffin. Um, so we've, we've grown from that to you know, building them the right way. Sorry. Audio friendly content. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. I was just hitting myself with the LARP that Brian gave me, so, which was a big mistake. And that is the first <clears throat> one of the original foam weapons we built for the very first time. And swinging this son bitch around, you have to have you have to be have have quick refocus to get a couple good shots in on somebody that's attacking you. Oh yeah. And plus, hold a shield in the other hand. Yep. If you don't hold a shield, you got two weapons. Holding two weapons is different. The shields are heavy. Well, I imagine the shields are no. heavy. That's a lot of work into it. No. no? Our shields are heavy because we're strong. Okay. Everyone else's shields are They're just light foam. as fuck. Yeah. Do they, it, does, do so you got to be a badass to hold a badass shield. Yeah, we have wood plywood. We have like three quarter inch plywood cores in our shields. Uh huh. And then foam. A lot of people just use foam. Yeah. Okay. And we use. That's I weak. Mean, it slows us down for sure, but I mean, when people pick them up and they're like, "Oh my god," we're like, "Yeah, it's like, uh, get Dragon strong." Ball Z, when they, they wear the turtle shells on their back, and yeah. then once they take them off, they're way faster. Put exactly, some spikes that's, in this not, that's how it works. Let somebody hit the spikes right here. Let's hit somebody in the motherfucking neck with this shit. Did you play the Dragon Ball Z fighting game? Oh, the totally game. Funny, they right? might extend with it. Joey. That'd be cool. But my yeah, god. like it was. Uh, yeah, when people pick up that sh- our shields, they're like, oh my god. They're like, yeah, get strong. Take this away from me. <laughs> I'm going crazy with that shit. I think I'm like Power Rangers. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of shields are just foam. So was there a big finale to the event? Or? Is it in a nope. fireworks or like huh. a big feast or, you know? Nope. Just everybody gone? They gone. They gone, yeah. They and then gone. the next day I asked Brian, you dead? <laughs> I meant to message you, but I don't know what the fuck I'm I think doing. I said 68%. You did. Years and years to see. Didn't what we messaged each other yesterday? Yeah, you were watching your daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was half, I was half dead yesterday. I took so many fucking drugs and shit. I am not a druggie. I shouldn't have said that online. <laughs> but we, uh, yeah, then we packed up the truck because I was like, you're not going to want to do this tomorrow. Yeah. So we packed up everything. We went to go sit by the fire. And, uh, because it kind of died down, and we are going to sit around it and just. Uh, Rhaegar was going to have a beer we were going to have sodas because uh, Grimace doesn't drink either uh, we, were, we were trying to get the fire up going again and Bartleby came over and he's like hey just, my man's in here he's trying to sleep and we're like ah okay gotcha <laughs> sorry because <laughs> we didn't have our own fire ring and he's like you can go find another one it's like yeah those, there are already another one note to great. self have your own fucking fire yeah so I was like alright gotcha so and at that point, I knew we weren't going to go find another fire, and we are just done. I wonder if it would be worth investing in, like, a, not a, I don't know why I thought of a grill, but just a, a fire pit. A yeah. portable fire pit. A portable fire pit. Rhaegar and, and his dad are both welders, so... There you go. <laughs> he's going to try to get his dad to get a, to build yeah. us a Well, Rhaegar and his dad pit. can do it. I know they can, but that's a lot of fucking weight to care. I know. That'd be a lot I, of really care. It'd been, be worth it though. Yeah, it'd be worth it, but you know, going through three days of get your ass whooped, you won't want to carry something heavy like that. Well, that's why people like me need to be there. I I, I ain't disagreeing with that there. I like that. Yeah. It is. It would be a lot of weight. The, they, they their biggest fight. problem is it rained on them. They yeah. didn't have no good wood. Yeah, we we didn't get rained on. <laughs> and the, <clears throat> one of the big problems is we didn't yeah. have our own thing. Publix. Apparently, they sell firewood. That is a very good point. <laughs> Motherfuckers are there buying subs, buying some damn wood. Yeah. Fuck, I didn't think of that. 
<laughs> well, goddamn. I forgot. Oops, that was terrible. Look up. There's got to be some kind of Boy Scout bullshit you can, for like, clean or, like, not clean wood, but drying off wood. See, I used there to be a Boy Scout. Like, yeah. like, you can freaking just smother it. Like, wrap it up in, like, a whole bunch of sheets or something like that and put it on or something, just tie it up and let it dry. I, for some reason, I'm thinking you would just, like, chop it up and try and get the, the outer bits off. I don't no, know. that ain't, ain't going to help. It's still going to be wet. If yeah, it sits know. there in the rain long, the water will go through the wood. These are things we need to learn. I was a Boy Scout and a Bitcher Scout. Yeah, I was never allowed. Well, I wasn't allowed to do anything as a kid, so. You know, it, just, it, 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 dep- it, it depends what kind of wood you have. It depends how much water is in the wood and how wet did it get and stuff yeah. like that. The worst case that. scenario, you can always run to a store that usually have firewood. Yeah, Publix got firewood. Yeah, I never even thought about it. It's Publix. They got everything. Bubba's got condoms. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, if they got condoms, they got everything. What? You can get a four-course meal, get you some alcohol, and get some condoms. And a bio balloon. Boom. So, did anything else happen at the LARP event? <laughs> um, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, the next day, we just packed up the little bit of stuff that was left. Uh, Grimace's tents and uh, our tiki torches. Because we did put up our torches around uh, Grimace's tent, and uh, we we tried to hang out, but Rhaegar damn near just passed straight the fuck out when we sat down. And damn. I was starting to fall asleep. Old we bastards. We're like, we're like that. We're done. Rhaegar's an old man. Old yeah, fucker. Yeah. Rhaegar, if you listen to this, you're an old fucker. So we, we packed up. We had I love up. you. Had <laughs> a fun ride home. and Now we're here. Yeah. Oh, I did almost get knocked the fuck out loading up the truck, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Because my, my hammock stand is built out of, um, which I didn't need to use, which was awesome. But it's um, six two-by-twos that are eight feet long <coughs> and then a one-inch metal conduit metal pipe. And the metal pipe fell because I stood up on the side of the truck because that had to go in last. Uh-huh. And I heard it slide down the truck, and I turned around to see what it was. It caught me right in the fucking forehead. Took me out. Damn, like, boy. I went straight down. <laughs> you didn't even get touched by a, a person. You got hit by an object. Yeah. Well, there's still, <laughs> the bump's going away right now, but there was a pretty good size bump on the forehead. Hey, now you got to say, hey, I got my ass whipped by an object at a <laughs> locker room. Yeah. yeah. Well, other than that's about it. Like, I, I wasn't liking it at first, but, you know thinking about it, it was there was a lot of like there should have been more like I shouldn't have been that bored right but and there's also talk of us you know cross gaming into another game called Amp Guard which is similar um so we're gonna go check that out we're gonna go check it out next month nice uh actually <clears throat> might check it out this uh, in like next week or something um but yeah, you know, we have to learn their rules because they have a lot more rules. I don't follow rules, so I ain't in. So, but I, there's also a lot more for me to do. <clears throat> I might even be able to fight that. I just want to go get drunk and look at people. So, but hey, and I, it looks like they have they're a lot more organized as well. So yeah, you'll be able to tell us more about that in the next episode. And they had, and their Instagram had already reposted. Get fucked. <laughs> the amp, official amp guard I think it's official amp guard Instagram page had already <laughs> reposted the picture of my war drum nice yeah on their page so. get fucked yeah, it was pretty awesome you need to put a future villains sticker on your war drum apparently <laughs> <laughs> then only on the be back, plugging you know on the back and say get fucked yeah I, I would I would write get fucked on it I'm <laughs> not putting the sticker on is that the website's new slogan? Get fucked? No, it's blood type slogan. No, it's get effed. That's yeah, we easy. can't say fuck. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> what? We can't say fuck. So I'll get in trouble with Well, I can't what? put it on Twitter or nothing. It's uh, funny. You know what? Put a hashtag funny. get fucked on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Brooks, you can't have that on Twitter. What's wrong with you? you no, gotta, yeah, I probably get yelled at too. You're a role model. Bitch, suck my dick. I mean, uh, <laughs> I knew it, but I don't use Twitter. 
But if you sure. wanted to follow me on Twitter, it's at Brian Man Twenty Five. At Best in the Realm. Jeremy Brooks Forty Two. Instagram is Brian Man Eleven Thirty Eight. Best in the Realm. J Brooks Forty Two. <laughs> You can find this podcast on iTunes, and you can find it on our website at futurevillains, F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S dot com. I guess we're doing the outro. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. That's what you were getting at. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. <laughs> wrap it up. I did wrap it up like an hour ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was fun. That was Brian's story time. Yeah, that's, uh, that's like what this that. one should be called. Brian's story time. <laughs> I, I, I was interested in hearing this. I like that. No, absolutely. I hope I'm happy you have fun, Brian. And Thank I will you. say, so this podcast is going to be a little bit different because we had a lot of interruptions at the beginning. A lot. So there is going to be uh, the LARP version, which is just going to be Brian's uh, recounting of the the weekend, and then there's going to be the dumpster fire <laughs> that was the whole episode. And that will, if it, you don't see it go up on iTunes, it will be on the website. If you hear somebody scream like a girl, it was Brian's four-year-old daughter. It wasn't, it was Brooks. God damn it, there you go. Okay, I did it. <laughs>